Right. That's a thing. Okay. Is this gonna wake up? It is gonna wake up. That is very good to know. Now that that has woken up, will it function? Is the real question. Should do. I think I am. Woken up. Okay. Ah, yes. Also, that does remind me I need to change the name view. There we go. Okay. That's the real question. Should do. I think. Okay. Uh, right. This is done. That means I need to now be putting a little bit up. Yes, I do. Good to know. This is a thing. So now let's put the lobby up. And that looks about right. Okay. Time for announcements and all the fun stuff. to you, to make you, and then I get you over here, all is well. Yep. And I need to make the code. And the process, which means That should mean that we are good to go. Now, as people trickle in, that confirms me that uh, have I messed this up or not. Also, poor Austria, but also big Westphalia. Uh, this Volgos is cursed for the record. Uh, Elithris is getting a sub from the second half, so that'll be interesting, but we shall see how that goes so we're involved. Um, right. Anything on top of my head that I am missing? No clue. Mm -hmm. Well... First, I'm, see, I'm here to see how the uh, the Ottoman themagic, um, the Ottoman Russia war plays out. Um, and I'm going to hope France actually involves itself in a player war, where it doesn't just completely curb stomp anything that resembles a resistance. But we shall see how that ends up going for it. Uh, people joining fine. Yes, they are. Yep. And next, you're on France. Uh, on Russia. On Russia, not France. Yeah, that could have been awkward. Yeah, next year I was playing Orissa. It's a good player, but uh, Arik does need a sub for this session, so he's been um, he's been promoted there. People started to trickle in. So far, so good. Beautiful countries here going on here. Just look at that. Uh, maybe this Malaya too. be loading I'm gonna pop around some chats and just see how everything's going on. <coughs> What's happening to my voice today? Cannot talk to save my life. Alright, hello. Hello. Hi hello. Oh, I'm actually in. Yeah. Oh I was actually yeah. first. You, you were know. first in, yeah. 
Normally people start my, st my uh, Steam and then they join as soon as I put the lobby up because they can see it on Steam before I make the announcements. Just so they can be cool and be first. But yeah, no one did uh, it. No, I, I, I did it uh, via an, an announcement. So. Yeah, I know. No one did it this week, so you're it's actually cool. first. <laughs> I think well, it's actually... I've been waiting in the chat room for like that. <laughs> I feel like I was ready an hour ago. Well, how do you press the ready button? Love <laughs> <laughs> me. It helps. <laughs> Gonna be asking the important questions, so yeah. <laughs> We've got you, you Russ. I'm coming oh. back. Just so that France can have someone to punch in the face again. <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> you came back. Where's Morocco, though? He said he's going to bleed till till France is satisfied, but I don't see him. <laughs> well, look, France is already satisfied, right? <laughs> oh no, Mamluks are gone. No, the last yep, Mamluk yep. province is gone. Oh, it's so sad. Ottomans are getting everything. Actually, I don't understand why he killed it. It was Sunni. Yeah, you could have no. kept it for team with you, but hey. Yeah, he maybe he master. realized that someone can actually vassalize it, like France or something. Diplomatically, <laughs> yeah, because they might be diplomatically vassalized it as well. Yeah, because they hate Ottomans, he couldn't vassalize it himself. I don't know. Hmm. Also, I've got no clue. Thought. Who are we missing? We're missing well, the Ottomans, Westphalia, Morocco, and Khmer. Is Khmer coming back? I was told Khmer was coming back, but I haven't heard from them to, in, in fairness, so... I, I've got the widest, the widest name, can we like finish it right now? Where's Morocco? <laughs> Where's Morocco? Sorry, I was watching a series on Netflix and I just got lost. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised how everyone is around for Valentine's Day, but at the same time, I'm not surprised how everyone is around for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I don't have anyone. Uh, savage. I got myself. I'm, uh, I'm having my Valentine's with pizza and wine on Netflix. Uh, well, um, not here to judge, not here to judge. Uh, my excuse is COVID. Don't look at my track record before COVID. Um, but either way, here we we're missing the Thrustrotus scum and uh and Khmer the usual fun and games. I'm, no, I'm one, no one appreciates how Khmer looks nice. I mean I'm they would look this. nice, but someone's renamed all of the names. Shampa. <laughs> I, it's just army names, come on. <laughs> no one is going to notice. If this Russia war keeps going, I'm waiting to see if Crimea will successfully break away. One day it's no, a he's country. sitting down. I may he's want sitting to, uh, down right now. Yeah, I may oh, want to just uh, just look. If I ever had to sub for someone, just go and like mess with their country names, like province names, and see how long it takes before people notice. <laughs> no okay. one will. No one will. That's the thing, All right? We're still missing Westphalia and the Ottomans. Someone would, like, the first time someone would All notice right. is when they actually split an army on that province. And they see the name in the army ledger, like, mm. what? Probably. Or if it's their capital. Or an event fire, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, well, the capital may be a bit too... It's like, a promise in the capital state. I'm joining now. My game decided to crash, and then all from my Steam decided to crash. So, uh, Understandable. Steam doesn't like functioning as a, as a software. Yeah, I'm yeah, new U4 client is really nice, actually, the launcher. Mm. I saw, uh, like, I got it, like, two weeks ago, and then it just disappeared. I'm like, what? No, I, I got it, I think, yesterday or today, and it looks really nice. Yeah, I, 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 I got it back uh, today. Uh, maybe yesterday, but I didn't check. I uh, didn't maybe you were in the beta or something. Yeah, I but I got, I got it, like, two weeks ago, and I'm like, what? What mm -hmm. is it? What is this? Heresy. Yeah, I think it's a lot more practical than the previous one that you had to scroll for like ages and then it would. No, yeah, it, like it's, it's going to. It's, yeah. it's uh, going to get uh, take a while to just 
Get used to it. Anyway, do we have a... Ah, oh, who's in chat? Westphalia or Khmer? Ah, oh, Westphalia. Uh, okay, do we have a Khmer? I think it's going to be Germany. Do we borrow Khmer? I'm here. Do we... You are here. Okay, in that case we are just waiting. For you to uh, come in. So all is well. Yes, he is. He is forming Germany, so all is well. All is well in my books. Uh, Until admin tech 20. Yeah. Uh, it's not actually that far. Oh, from where is you? Like a couple of weeks. Hello, man. Admin tech 20. Hmm. Yeah. Fuck Jim. No, I mean, it's Germany, like right? You, you, you'd go ahead of time for tech 20 for Germany. Uh, <clears throat> I can hear some static noise in the background. That is not me, but that is uh, someone here. It uh, might be my. Yeah. I I play on a laptop, and my laptop is yep, it makes is sounds true. like it's dying. Uh, may that be evidence to suggest it's dying? Uh, what? Could you may change be... your sensitivity, microphone sensitivity, or possibly just have push to talk? Yeah, just push to talk. Uh, have a button to mute yourself. Yeah. And... Oh my god, finally. That's the longest I've ever seen this game take to load in forever. Yeah. Of course, when I'm between the city. I mean, okay. Is oh, Westphalia yeah, going for fun. Russia? Uh, no, Germany. It's going Germany. for early, right? Okay. Uh, you, on Discord, you have like uh, the little gear in the bottom left, you know? There you click, That's, those are your units. Yeah. Oh, Dude, I why did do all the technical difficulties right at the worst possible moments? I love well, uh, it's called it's it's called Murphy's Law. Whenever you think something cannot get worse, that's always when yeah. it's worse. I'm going to give you another five minutes before we hit the 20 minute mark of, uh, right, we're going to have to start the lobby. You're going to have to hot join before the lobby starts, you know, getting up in flames. So, that's the heads up, I'm afraid. But I, I, I all right, well, I, this should things. work now. I just, I don't know why it said I have the wrong version. I, nope, I don't have any. Did you, like, load up Amber or something? And then try and hot join. I'm going to restart and hope that works. If not, well, um... Try not to load Amber now on, like, my, uh, M-E-I-O-U. Uh, my own taxes, I think. Eh, what's a hard day? God. I'm saying that playing that one looks so much nice. It's almost all filled out. If a Westphalia is in here. <laughs> exactly. I have to get that... Big, Wait, is Spain back? Big white Spain off the map real, real quick. Yeah, it's loading and then, yeah, hopefully it should work now. He just clicked on like, Spain. He's playing Korea though. Uh, Japan, I'm just, sorry. I'm, I'm just, just looking at my destination. I'm just okay, I, was, I, was, I didn't see Japan be missed. I was like, wait, what? Spain is back? Bro. Spain is actually colonizing <laughs> again. I mean, he's still got a coastal province, right? He can still colonize. He's still got Sevilla. All nine like some weird provinces like oh. South, South America that like Portugal hasn't taken yet. Maybe he'll he'll come back. Either way, right? Could you mind flipping back to you? Yep, thank you. And just I tried to tell the Dutch that I wouldn't bother them that they are the equivalent of the French Guiana, but I don't think they listen. No, I think they're mostly just listening to uh, whatever the uh, British tell them. To God, do. it's connecting. Pretty much. It's connecting. Loading save. Woo. Woo. Don't help the British. You're supposed to be fighting over the trade node. Now there are two of them. They're breeding. <laughs> You're supposed Let's to make destroy one the British. Blob. No. <laughs> we all want the war. How much, how much wine me. is too much wine? Not enough wine. Not enough wine. <laughs> Is the game starting, or why is my map in territorial You know if you mode? click up like a bottle of vodka and it says 40% at it? Uh, that's that's yeah, not percentage. That's not percentage, that's the uh, amount of liters you should have. Uh, okay, so 40 is, is liters of starting, or... Exactly. It's <laughs> so is, it 40, 
Is it 40 <laughs> liters of vodka or is it 40 no, no, no. vodka? No, no, no. 40% of your body, body mass. <laughs> Always. Oh, man. So, like, beer, you can get away with, like, 3% body mass, but, you know. Territorial, man. <laughs> yeah, I like the percentage. I was going to say liters, but the percentage body mass, that's a lot better one. Uh. Right, well, it's actually loaded. Please give me that glorious play map mode. After they, like, come up the rest of Austria. There we go, that's a glorious play map mode. I was going right, to say, did Austria... So, let's actually go. I was going to ask if Austria, uh, Austria read it up, but he's not in the game, so... <laughs> <laughs> what a meme! That's just so cruel. He is unfortunately quite dead now, I mean... Oh, oh well. Yeah. I have to say, I have a terrible habit of reading up, because I end up hosting all the time, and as hosts you don't need to ready up. So when I do actually, I'm not, when I'm not host, I keep forgetting to ready up. <laughs> so I was thinking suspicion that maybe in his friendship group or something, he is the host. Or designated host. That would be. Because that's. I think that it is. Cause it's, yeah. Go, unpause see, as fast see, as possible. No, pause, no. <laughs> unpause as fast as possible. No, 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 no. fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, mate. <laughs> no, we have, the, we have yeah, promised. Fine, we have promised. Uh, I, I have promised two to three minutes for Russia to figure out what's going on with their country. So. What about me? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm, the... I'm gonna look at Delhi now. Look at these glorious Delhi armies that are just sitting. If... Where's the first Thank one that can have 69,000 infantry on it? Look at how drilled they all are. They all are. They are like. You've drilled your 69 like... stack to 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty epic, isn't it? Priority. Yeah, the best armies. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm actually ready. Pack it. <laughs> Okay. One point seven million. Everyone ready then? I think. Everyone ready? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Understandable. <laughs> um. uh, ooh, that's nice. I can include nine hundred twenty-four Venusary Regiment. It will cost me nine thousand mil points. Uh. But they're really quiet. Oh, oh, I'm getting a lot of things. Genesis regiments are actually really good, as I've noticed now. I don't like paying monarch points for recruiting infantry. Seems yeah, a bit. If they made like banners, you'd be a lot better, honestly. I might do that in my mod. I'm currently making a vanilla revamp mod. So are we gonna... Well, we'll wait for people to tell me they're ready for them. Jesus Christ. Ottomans clearly understand that force them is just a suggestion. <laughs> yep. I mean, I'm technically a little right in the war, so... I'm making money with them, man, okay? I'm making money. With 1.7 million troops. Don't underestimate my economy. <laughs> Again, force them is just a suggestion. Yeah. Either way, now that that's out the way, um... We good to go? Yeah, I am okay. ready. Indeed. Alright, well in that case... I'm assuming people want to speak to you. We are off. Yeah, speak, yeah. Speak, 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 speak. Kind of. Um, see, uh, Crimea is getting cleaned back up. Uh, it's been wonderful to see them pop out. Well, not wonderful. More funny, if anything. But yeah, no chance for that. <laughs> Like if they did the first battle of the session, first battle of the session, and oh no, one versus 32k, who's gonna win? Oh god, I don't think <laughs> my better look. Just say 11. Uh, I think we've beaten you to the first battle of the session. Wait, what? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you guys at war as well? Lemon is worst at observer. Oh, ever. the first war <laughs> of the session, I guess. Where did the corn go? Go. I'm pretty sure those guys popped out. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of got mm -hmm. owned. Dutch conquest of oh, the Dutch are back for round two, and you don't have Matapa to help you this time. Hmm. I mean, I kind of knew this would happen. Like I said it uh, 
at the end of the previous uh, session that I'm about to get uh, into a war. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm building, but... Hold the line, get my tapper in. Get my there in. The <coughs> is also just a number. Aggressive expansion is just a number, exactly. Enforce peace. I'm just battered from every side. Don't forget, they can't separate Peace Morocco out without also Peace out Metapa, so... Yeah. Either way, are we going to have an actual big battle again? Oh, I think I missed one. I was... The retreating stack here. Okay, understandable. Ah, that's a full back row, and... Oh, Streltsy there. Streltsy good. Yeah, so it's oh, like I noticed re the reinforcements being intercepted. Hmm. No, the Ottomans just have so much reinforcements here. Oh, and the Ottomans managed to get all their discipline back up. How did that yeah. happen? Me and my discipline. Yeah, you were 10 discipline points behind. How did you manage to squeeze that back out? No. Still sunny. Yeah, because you were dis you were behind that point of discipline initially. Please, I want to know. What? Well, I don't know. Could you tell me? Sorry, what's this? Where is my discipline coming from? Ultimate tradition to spread the core for quality weapon quality standards, so just econ quantity. Spirit of Corpse, and oh, you finished super offensive, and you got the advice, and yeah. Oh, that's, that's what it's from, yeah. Right. Russia does not have the advice. And. Why are they? Uh... Okay. They have everything else. Forgiven, but they reinforce that time, they do not reinforce that in time, and uh, oh, the second, yeah. they do not work the second, okay, at least. That's a full back uh, I'm going to lose. Yeah. This is Are so any of these full back rows? None of these are back rows, oh dear. Hey, this is the moment where people attack Ottomans. Well, they should be Russian. <laughs> Why would you say such vile things? We are all friends to our dear Ottoman. Yes, yeah, stop yeah. being friends. I'm here for entertainment. Gonna <laughs> 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 watch like some fun for one or two hours, and then I go to bed. Exactly. I was looking glorious. I mean, where where the where the sides that have a full back row, they melt, but. I love to see Russia just has two rows of infantry. That is such a Russia thing. Why do you know where you're going? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, and uh, yep. Kirim, the Crimean fort, means that that micro can't go in here. Yeah, does any of these have. No, none of these. You're just marching 112,000 men into the back. Yeah. Uh, Bruh. These are there's your back uh, row. I one serious. <sighs> My hands are shaking. Smile. You can do it. I believe in you. I mean, just look at Delhi. Uh, these beautiful uh, stacks. They can just go in and murder. And France is still killing the Spanish people, aren't they? Uh, Man, they don't even pay for the troops. Wow. Well, they they yeah. can just kill the Ottomans here, they cannot be bothered. So, is a theocratic empire really that good? Did I just say a monarchy? Monarchy good, especially now that well absolutism actually matters, so it's not just a uh, public noise. But, yeah. I don't think 
It matters too much for me, I'm too smart. I'm not gonna call out land of them. That's a disgusting thing that Russia has. They can click a button and get 196k men. Also, they somehow have minus 30 absolutism. Jesus Christ, what the hell they given to their estates? Oh, the boyars have 86% of the land. Understandable. Jesus Christ. Is this... Have they dev this? Oh my god, that is some very well played boy. Good map power dev basically everywhere. Well, that's I think it's because they're not part of the... Um, they're not steps. Yeah, the steps have been deved really well. If we look here. 15 deaths. Yeah. No, but steps with Russia just... Yeah. Fine, but even so. even the old guys like Netherlands gets a four, five, seven, and I get like a zero one. God, the thing is the Ottomans just have so much. Got to bribe the horse for better luck. I think they're not oh. enforcing this, are they? Oh, well, they are, but. I mean, strength-wise, mm. we're not that much different. Uh, yeah. I mean, army quality. Okay. The they were just the so lucky. Defense. They have better generals by far. You have the next mill tech. Also, you have your literal mission general. Who's a 6-6 six, six or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the first battle, you were behind MC Lister, but you've got that fixed off. Boy, so. Let me quickly check into what's going on with Morocco. Oh well, not much left in Morocco. Mutapa taking time to take the cape, of course. Went well, in Rome, as they say. Don't want to be. But hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah really no. my way to... The thing is, the Russians is they can't throw so much at it, but. Mm. I can't throw enough is the issue. Oh. Well. Oh. I am being messaged by one people. Uh, oh, either way. If you need something, uh, ping me. I'm gonna go sit in the uh, in the observer chat because I'm cool like that. <laughs> Alright. Are Ottomans hit? No, Ottomans are that is sick. Look at the Ottomans. They've they're getting 16k a month. Ottomans can keep doing this for absolute ages. And I mean Russia as well. They got 1.7 million in reserve. They've got enough manpower to last a couple hundreds of years this kind of fighting. It's absolutely no issues. I think he may be running Mercs funny enough, simply because his that is not the person I meant to click on. Simply because um You know, forcing a complication can just delete them, but I don't think it actually is even. I don't think any of these are mercs, if I've been fully honest. Nope. That's Genesaries. But yeah. God, it's absolutely no issue to put 300k into the stack. Yep, no. Eh, uh, Russia. Just can't reinforce fast enough is the issue. Now you've you've got 32k going into their death. Instant wipe because 10 to 1. Oh, they're getting their wolf score, especially with the war goal now being secured back. So that is a fullback. No, no fullback on the artillery, but there's the back fullback round. Combat width right now is 32, so. Oh. The Russian generals, though, as well. I don't know, can you click me on this? Yeah, look at the Russian generals. So 6 3. Just in general, look at this. In general, hey, Russian generals, look at this, yeah. This is going to be a big one, I think. Russia is very much, I was going to say, in position to reinforce once these guys march down, which will be enough time, probably, given that they have another 200k ready to reinforce here. It is a minus one for them. Ottomans have a full back row. Russia does not 
have the back row in this battle. They actually, oh, so they have mugged up with the, uh, huh, they have mugged up with the, um, yeah, what's that, um, the nomadic mercenary stat? Yeah, just because they are getting my 75% shot, but. Hmm. Yeah, not looking too good for Russia either of these, actually. The main concern being, this battle, no full back row, Ottomans have full back row. This battle, Russia has basically a partial back row. Ottomans have a full back row, give or take. Yeah, that's a full back row. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not mercenaries, that's just their subjects. You have to be hordes. Yeah. I'm gonna go in for Moscow, so they are. They have a back row. They have something resembling most of the back row. But yeah, the Ottomans have another back have, I think, three back rows in total. So the Russian economy is starting to hurt, but only four loans. They can take a lot of that. They can also have 45... They have five slacker recruitments. So each slacker gives them 400k men. Jesus Christ. They can slacker for 400k men each. That's absurd. Yeah, there's no chance these people are have manpower. That's the thing, right? Then Ottomans lose 200k. Oh no. Ottomans press a button. Here's 400k. Although I think they've pressed it quite a few times, to be fair. It's probably where their manpower came from, actually. I will need to rewatch that. I think they have pressed it quite a few times. Hmm. Rather ironic that Russia. Well, not ironic at all, I guess, that Russia has the manpower to continue this, but. Does Russia have the war squad, though? Russia 1.6 million dead, Ottomans was 2.3. That's ugly. That is incredibly ugly for look. Russia what? That's almost four back rows. So back row is 32. Sorry, that's three back rows that Russia has somewhere. <laughs> Ottomans have uh, enough bot back rows for every front, it seems, although. Um, yeah, for the Russia, I'm not seeing the full back row. Do they have the full back row here at least? They do. As you see, with the full back row, they're doing so much better. That morale difference of 6 to 5.4 means they're doing 6 morale damage based against 5.4. Not that big of a deal, but it still matters. Um, slight heads up for the Russians and mill tactics as well. And they've overstacked the artillery here. Yes, they have. Well, actually, Russia is slightly out of second artillery, but this is for the most part a full back row. <laughs> Ottoman mistake in stab hits. I think that's their leader dying. Yep. 16 year old. That's their leader dying. They'll win here, I think, unfortunately, but. Oh god, does, does Russia have more? Oh, they have more, they have more. The Ottomans have. They have more. They win this, but they won't be able to reinforce with this stack here, with this fort in the way. And they're going in without a back row again. I would not recommend that, but... Yeah, they can just feed this through here. Ottomans marching 100k in right away, trying to get a... Uh... Russian may want to get a couple more in there. Yep. Yep, fair enough, they have this guy on standby. You get very nervous when you see no morale there, but you have to keep an eye on this. It's 2.4, and okay, they did retreat there. Unfortunately, the Ultimates can just stack 500k on that, but... Bloody hell, do they pay for it, though. 280,000 dead to attrition, although the, the Russians are not far behind themselves, so throwing 34,000 dead to attrition. At this point, attrition, you just kind of have to accept it. Yeah, they're basically starting to run out of manpower. They, um, um, am I going to see a slack in here? Well, that's their kind of monthly gain. I think they're trying to avoid a slack and try and get a piece still. Um, well, while the battles are gone, we have a quick break to... Uh, yeah. 
No, Russia. If Russia had infinite amounts of land, unfortunately, I'd be able to do this. Yeah, Dutch has Africa secured, but uh, to be fair, Malaya's here. I think I might be able to actually beat them back here. In all honesty, I think they might have this in the bag. The thing with the British troops you have to remember is that. Wow. That is not how I thought that battle would go. Jesus Christ, and that's why naval quality is a lot more important than land quality if you ever do bother fighting land battles. That's your record here. That is an absolute clapping of anything that resembles a Dutch navy. Um, but yeah, just a quick reminder that when it comes to ideas, Britain's gone very heavily exploration, expansion, quantity, economic naval. Their troops, well, they have the 5% discipline from their... Um, from their reforms, but be it from their ideas, but beyond that, absolutism and a bit of religion, they've got literally nothing in terms of actual military strength. Uh, no combat abilities, really. A couple of naval ideas, but as we can see, they just got clapped here. Jesus Christ, not there. And oh, a battle. Full back rows. No, Malaya does not have a full back row because Mutapa has taken up back row positions with infantry. Okay, there we go, that's better. We've got the full back row, full back row, and full back row. Uh, getting ready to march in. They're going to have to stack with 50. They could have split this in half and probably not overstacked, but they're deciding to overstack. That's a zero roll, unfortunate. Six versus four, but Malay's in minus two, and there we go. That reinforcement take is huge. And there goes the Malay reinforcements. Okay, they are going to win here. They need to fight this with Morocco being near them. They should not be splitting themselves up here. Well, the issue. Uh... I keep clicking on Rossini instead of clicking on the Ottomans. This this one province really catching me out here. Of course, this war is based two minutes, one minute. Did he get down by now? No, okay. I mean, Ottomans have no manpower, but just, they, they have enough in the field. And if they really start getting pressed for it, they have the button to press here for granted less manpower now, but still. Meanwhile, Russia. Manpower. Their, re their monthly regen is, regen is basically down to half, but oh well. They can press the button. This one. Um, as soon as, if they get their capital back, ironically enough, for uh, another 200k men. Oh, that's another stack wipe for the Russians, unfortunately. It was one of their reinforcement stacks, but oh well. Yeah, that is the issue. You can get your reinforcement stacks wiped, but yeah. No. Good try by the... Uh... Hey, they're rebels. They'll get their occupations back, but... Um... I mean, they have to go in. They have to go in against the Ottomans. The longer they leave us, the more the Ottomans consolidate Ethiopia or Oman. And Russia is kind of out in terms of land to eat. That's why they were so desperate to grab Korea here. Uh, they can't really push into Westphalia themselves without angering the French, British, and Netherlands. And obviously Westphalia is no push for themselves. And the Ottomans have kind of blocked them off from expansion to Iran and China. So Russia was on a time bomb here. The more they stand, the stronger the Ottomans grow. So they have to pick a fight here, unfortunately. I think they were counting more on uh, other people taking the opportunity to jump on the Ottomans as well. But it seems to me that they are not. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um... Well, hopefully I won't miss any more major battles. I want to see how this is going here, though. Okay, they are keeping keeping their troops together now. Matapa sneaking in some more reinforcement stacks. Yep, that they are doing. But can they get away with it? Matapa hmm. Miltek 20. Uh, <laughs> comparable to Ottoman army quality. To be fair... African units aren't actually as bad as, say, Native American. Ooh, I would... This is brave. 15, that's... Not a full back row, I... And this was Matapa, he has eight... He has these stacks. 
Well, yeah, he'd rather just have more infantry and um, not have awkward. So two of his stacks don't make a full back row, right? So he still needs like two more cannons for a full back row, ironically enough. But I think it's still better to just have a back row worse and then stacks that reinforce the back row. But that's just me. Never with VJ. I, yeah, VJ is no longer a player. In fact, VJ is no longer really a country. They are very much getting uh, murdered by Delhi here. I mean, player, player put up a ridiculously good fight, but no chance there. But yeah, um, Malay knows that his real expansion opportunities may be here more than anything. But it has to be going for quite a bit for War School. Yeah, War School's only minus five, despite quite a lot of these occupations. I think they might still have this. If they can. Um, they're getting all these occupations back now, and if they can start consolidating these stacks with these stacks, they should be able to push, especially since, well, this is mostly Dutch still. Are these mercenaries is the real question. These are not mock stacks, and these are two full back rows. You have two back rows and not a lot of infantry to reinforce these back rows. That is unfortunate, but we don't have the force limit to allow it. I'd probably run one back row even, just focused on winning the one battle, but two back rows can certainly work if you can micro your reinforcements. And that's the thing, I think Britain actually, their infantry is just about good at that, being, well, in the front row dying. Um, discipline is, it's bad, sure, but it's not, it's not 100, it's 110, not useless. So I think if, if Britain can sneak some more units in here, which they can't, then... <laughs> Losing a naval war to Malaya has to be somewhat embarrassing for GP, especially since, um, that's not the person I meant to click on. Has Malay gone naval ideas? They have gone naval, okay. Makes sense. Quality offensive naval. Yeah, that's the thing. Quality as well for naval drill. Ship durability. Yeah, quality naval. It's a very... Gives them a very good navy. As we can tell, better than the British, so... Hmm. Malay quickly clean up the rest of this, and... Uh... I want to see where they pick the next fight here. But either way, we're still starting looking at a Mexican standoff. Russia starting to fall to rebels, and oh, next major battle. Now, does Russia have reinforcement stacks, or did they just put everyone in there to not reinforce properly? Sony tells me they put everyone in there to not reinforce properly, and yes, for the most part, they did. That's a stack, albeit mostly artillery, but that's a stack nonetheless. So if they march this way over, they'll be able to do it. Unfortunately, okay, it's grass time. I thought there was, was some, it's like a forest or something, so there'll be a minus one to the rolls, but no. Interesting 1k strategy. Um, again, the economy should not be as fine as it is, but it is. Just look at these siege ticks. Ottomans lose like 1k to 800, 2k to 800. Is that fire phase or shock phase? Shock phase, yeah, they're about equal, like shot them as they the shock phase, but that. And we hit the fire phase, so. Yeah, shock phase, about equal. And then, um, yeah, that fire phase is horrible for the Ottomans. Ottomans, please tell me you do have more troops in the vicinity. They do, they do, okay, yeah, they'll be fine here. But over, they are over stacking way too generously. Oh yeah, I mean, Mor France is, I think, just sitting here waiting to, be to deal the last blow. Yeah, he is sitting here waiting to deal the last blow. He... I don't like this. He should be killing the Ottomans right now. He has nothing really to gain here from Morocco, apart from the haha of killed Morocco. Um, I also don't understand why he's tolerating the Netherlands and GB. He should be fighting them, if anything. But oh well, that's up to the player, not to him. And there's the battle, and... Well... That's a retreating with Tapper, but... That is a mess of a Netherlands back row, while Mata Well, granted some mess of a back row for them, at least it's these sort of cannons there. We have infantry in the back row here, that is not good for them. Unfortunately, missed the battles here, but it does not look good for them, although... Morocco truce with France is... March 1560, yeah, okay. They're waiting for the truce to end. They have their war goal on Fez, yep. 
and okay, while we're looking at that, that's the unconditional from Russia. Unfortunate for them. Well, they had to give it a try. But yeah, that's a fair pause. Although not by the Russians. So I think that's a fair pause here. Yeah, unconditional. <laughs> Russia with the bankruptcy. Not actually the end of the world they can debase here, but obviously they're conditional, so they're making no money. Mm. Delhi spending the money, funnily enough. But yeah. Uh well, we we'll see what comes of this piece too. Saying that. Before we get back to Delhi. Mm. Ottomans on no manpower is uh, an interesting sight to behold. They didn't end up slackening as well. Jesus Christ. Oh, what a Turk mask. Did I even ask where the new Russian capital is? That is just... Eat? What? Why would you do this? Where is the Russian capital? Yaroslav. Hmm. <laughs> oh, get us capitalized then, I guess, if Moscow's gone. But yeah, Morocco is just dead here as soon as France decides to press the kill Morocco button. Hmm, unfortunate. Although, I mean, they are just slaughtering the Dutch here, the British. If I was Scusi, I'd be very impressed with that and just going, yeah, sure, fair enough, go murder them. Well, that we shall see. Ah, uh, which piece of them? Ah, uh, he's in a voice chat with them, so he clearly he's he's been basically caught to arms by this. Not sure the British know they can't win this war, so <laughs> damn to call in the big guns. Um, yeah, kind of ironic. What I would actually do here is just unconditional to them. Well, in the 12 months, as soon as that's done. But hey ho. Yeah, rest in peace was left of Russia. Yeah, also Russia did have a sub, so that's a bit unfortunate for them. I mean, France basically. France, France is in a voice chat with the British. They, they, they're being begged to go join this for them. They, um, kind of running around being a, being a. Du I don't understand why they just don't kill the Dutch and take all their money. Funnily enough, but oh, I'm not the French person. That's not up to me to decide. I think I will amend that to yeah. pause the game during unconditionals. I would take this honestly as Morocco. I would just accept this and then beat up the Dutch. Which he just did, yep. Just so he can go beat up the Dutch. Okay, as for the Dutch themselves, that's a Merc stack. That's an economy down the toilet, Jesus Christ. That's them going to force them. Are they going to death war every time over this? It's not even a death war for them, though. They're making so much money from trade. And they give English channels, they give English channel after all. But a Matap of Dagon. Not even contesting Dutch South Africa here. It's, it's clearly under their control. So Matap are making a. I'm <laughs> not bad income themselves, so. Uh, generously under force them and enough manpower. Uh, Miltek 21 is big, sure, but we could get their five generals here and slack and again if they need. A bit like the manpower, but 2,000 a month, so it's nothing to be scoffed at either. Ideas-wise, oh, yeah, probably don't want to think. They want to go and grand army and get the corpse for that 5% more discipline. 
And uh, they also need to get something resembling absolutism as well, so. Hmm, that we shall see. They are gonna, yeah, they will be fighting them on this fort here. Morocco is basically out of manpower, idea wise. Fake war, I, I think this was just a real war, but Morocco knew that there's no way of winning them. Let's, let's be real, Morocco didn't agree to give the fight up to the French, but they agreed to the peace deal so that their country doesn't burn in the process and they can keep beating up the Dutch, more out of spite if anything. But hell, there they go in. Let's look at this from the Dutch perspective this time. Uh, do we have a back row here? We should. We have most of a back row. We have, we have a back row on the Dutch side. I have to march in early. They need to get their own front. They need to get them attacking and the Malayan troops in the front line here. Malayan cannons can only carry so much. Hmm. It's starting to look good, very much so, for the Dutch. Tapa has. More reinforcements then. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. Huh. That's a good point. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, no, that's that's actually a thing. I'm afraid. Uh, I was gonna say you can't do that. Minus seventy for us. You can't. Yeah. Uh, you can't cut off uh, Moroccan land there. Are you? You, so I, the island of Morocco they can't access, which means right, they can fall let, uh, So let me return Kaz to... Yeah, return Kaz to the end as well. It returns it to Tunis. Okay, the, you're going to have to give them the access. Because it returns fine. it to Tunis. Or, you, well, give them the access. I can just basically. give them no access. Yeah, like, probably. he accepted the peace. He didn't say, oh no. Like, that's stupid if you're like, oh, I'll accept the peace, but oh no, you rule broke. Fair enough. To be fair, I didn't see it myself either, but... I, I, I didn't think it was relevant because that, like, no. it's not like I cut his country in half. These are all four and five dead provinces. Yeah, fair it enough. Doesn't, but it's they're not even... People get screamed at. Either way, just give him the access, that'll be fine. If go. you ask give him the access, him. because you can't return the call. Oh, I just, I just offered him no access. Oh my God. Well, if he takes it, yeah. Uh, he can't return the province because it's a Tunis core, not your primary culture core, so you're going to have to just take his mill access, I'm afraid. Um, so, it's not, right. you know, you've been cut off by rubles. Sorry, Morocco, he can't return the promise to you because it's a Tunis core. So, you're going to have to just... Oh, right, yeah. Something. Yeah, so, fair yeah. enough. Um, he split you up. Uh, yeah. sorry, I said... So, if you can ask for mill access at any point from him to fight rebels there. That's it. Okay. Just let him give the province back. It's usually dev. It's he can't return the province back because it's a Tunis province, not a Morocco province. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, oh, also, Scusi, in in the defense of the Morocco player, it wasn't him making a fuss, it was other players. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know that, but... There, go, there, there it goes, out. there it goes. Anyway. Hey. Right, that's, uh... With that slight hiccup out of the way, um... Yeah, they're just giving them access. We missed the battle. Yay. Uh, Morocco, basically out of manpower here. And... Generously over force limit. This is bankruptcy warring. Understandable. Yeah, losing only three ducats a month. Uh probably take the rest of the dead here while I can. And go for it. Uh no manpower can they afford anything resemble a slacken? Uh with one more general they can. And how much do they get from a slacken? Well I can't tell because that's not an option. Matapa, can they afford a slacken? They've done a slacken, they got forty five K. They need 92k to full reinforce, so they need to do another slacken, but they will also want to get their quality ideas, offensive ideas. Mm. Personally, I would say, even if it's 5% discipline, I, I'd rather have normal troops on the front line. They can consolidate these cannons, they don't need that many cannons here. But hey ho. I think between them they have a cannon for a front, for a front, front row, so they don't need these cannons. And they're working, okay, understandable. So absolutely fine in the economy. Just goes to estimate to how much Africa can make from well gold and trade if it's not being nicked from them. And well, it's not being nicked from them. 
Uh, this has all been funneled to. Yep. All done well. Even have 54% here, funnily enough. Huh. Either way. What are we looking at here? This British stack is asking to be wiped. 32k infantry. And I think they can wipe the pre artillery reinforcements. So. Well, yeah, may maybe an idea. Get this occupation back. And set up for battle too. Is there a good place to fight them? Unfortunately, I think the answer might be no. This is all Savannah. Well, you say that, but I think at this point the French, the Moroccan core lands have kind of migrated over here. Uh, although an economy, sh the state of economy shows them that there are no Moroccan core lands at this point. Yeah, Morocco is not long for the sword, but he is sticking it out. I think more of a as a uh, screw you to France to constantly beating them up than anything, but uh, and a screw you to the colonial powers. Something that can be definitely used in the tactics. War score wise, minus two, and. Um, Huh, they have taken war score, funnily enough. What is the war goal? Denkia. This is still pre imperialism. Okay, there's the war goal, that's the fort, and. Yeah. Well, when truce expires, truce expires, they're dead. That's real. Oh, this is not even stated. Yeah, okay, they're not actually going to get rebels from this, funnily enough. Oh, so there's zero support there. Hmm. Well, how's the rest of the world doing that's not in a constant state of warfare? Khmer is sitting pretty and tight with Bhutan as their subject. We have poor man's uh, Nepal in number one. Uh, Khmer, their sub last time, consolidated off this land. Still have Champa as this march, no idea why. Uh, Malaya. Is that their subject? That is their subject. Integrate. And this is uncolonized, not that they need to. They have a clan down on Australia and New Zealand and all these islands, so. Malaya is making bank. Oh, that's Khmer, not Malaya. Why is Khmer be steering trade here? That makes no sense. No, they're making bank either way. 36% uh, of here is nothing to be frowned on, and then they can just send their soldier here and maybe even start getting some form of threats here. Although Mutapa's 41%, but that's mainly from the occupations. Unfortunately, even if Mutapa does capture the Cape, Northerners has 27% trade power just from upstream. I mean, Morocco. Even due, despite their occupations, their 10% trade power from upstream. The upstream trade power in here is kind of insane. Simply because of how much trade power they have going between them in the English Channel. France's slice of 2% includes things like the Diamond District and two entry ports, so. Yeah, I know. I mean, the Snad is at no point even anything near bad. Alright. Are we seeing ourselves a battle, maybe? Sooner rather than later? Yep. Moroccan particularists on siege in the land. I still love that Malay, Malay has naval superiority. That'd be really ironic if Malay could start landing in, well, in mainland Europe. Although I think the French would definitely have something to say about that. But more of a teach them a lesson kind of deal. Well, either way, that we shall see how that goes for them. Alright. Morocco beat up their own particulars, understandable, and Britain getting a cheeky occupation, seeing them, seeing the armies here and dipping as soon as they can, understandable. Does Morocco see there's no British people here? They do, so they can probably. Oh, this is a map stack. This map stack. Yeah. I was gonna say they could have, they could like take the stacks, but start split it in half, and just un siege everything. I know, like, semi-carpet sieging. Oh, there goes a stab here. Probably do you want to stab up here. Yeah, definitely, because it increases your interest, and you probably also want to take all these loans while you still have it. Although, hmm... Yeah, France only has a couple centres. My point being is that normally with two centres of trade, you would expect to have a bit more than a 2% trade power, so... 
which just goes to the testimony to how much straight power they have upstream from interest English Channel alone. Either way, yeah, there is the main definite idea if you just unseach all this land, you'll have bigger loans so you can take more. But they need to unseach this land, so, well, either take the loans now or don't. So far, they're just sitting here, prettily staring at each other. I'm not sure to say who has time on their side. I mean, Morocco certainly can't maintain this, sure, but. And the Dutch? Oh, well, they can, I guess, to be fair. That is an insane economy. Look at that. 74% income is from trade. And well, for the British. Hmm. A bit less to say the least, but still, nothing to be scoffed at, and they're very cleanly positive. Not really fighting much. Mostly trying to fight neighbourly, but losing. Is that a Merc stack, actually? I like how I like I've just clicked off Britain and then I need to click back on them because I want to see something that requires clicking on them. That is not a Merc stack. Okay. That is main frontline troops. That is not what I meant to press. That can't be a stab hoop, so probably a record decline. That is a good Matap in general. Does Matapa have more where that came from? Should give them a month means to be fair they are recovering nicely. They did grab Grand Army, so they are very close they are not going for a general slack in recruitment, understandable. They are instead going straight for um finishing offensive. They are mill focused, of course they are. Study of a general limit. You know? Why they're losing that? Policy is their policy limit. 10% land force limit. I'd actually get rid of that. They're not using land force limit and a global settler increase. <laughs> Ironic as it may seem. Uh, well, they, I guess they are using the global settler increase, but still not that it would, you know. They still can't see this province. That's the dumbest thing of all time. They can't see this province. But hey, this time I get their own slice of the Ivory Coast. Nice for them. Are we going to have anything resembling a battle? Well, I mean, they're moving slowly closer together. Yep. This kind of semi half back, full back row loadout, this tank for it being just reinforcement stacks. Hmm. I don't know why Morocco has maritime ideas. I think Morocco has maritime ideas because they were planning on surviving a bit longer against the French and using it to raid the French, or some variation of. Or I guess they just went into Maritime, picked up this, just so they can steal trade from them by protecting it. Because if we look at their navy, is it... No, it actually is a proper navy. Hmm. Interesting. In that case, I have no clue. This doesn't make any sense. But to be fair, neither does religious. I think they just don't have monarch points for ideas due to the constant bankruptcy wars they've been doing. So they at this point, they may be just there for events, if anything. So... Hmm. Well, we shall see. There's probably an idea to it, but what it is, I don't know. Okay. That's kind of ironic that Malay, the Malayan stack is 17 back row. I think actually that is a Merc stack. Because uh, it's got cavalry in it, and no one has cavalry these days. No, it's not a Merc stack, it's a genuine stack with cavalry. Consider me pleasantly surprised. And, oh god, Malay, I can fight this. They are very lucky Malayas here, Jesus. They can fight this, and they can fight this so well. Um, not for summit wise, but just being able to maintain this combat for an internum. They still don't know why they have cannon, cannon here, but the ironic thing is, is that we could look, combat with this 34 right now, so you ideally want, ah oh well. If they had 19 cannons in that, then uh, Matapa reinforcing with a 15k cannon stack to 17k would have given them full back row. But yeah, I guess not having a full back row is not the end of the world really, but in general, yeah. I would aim for it at least. It's possible to do it without, but it's in general the meta to have stacks of the main back row and then having your main mini stacks seem supporting as much as they can. But yeah. In the Moroccan's defense, they had more coastal provinces before. <laughs> Regarding maritime ideas. They have a lot of coastal cores. <laughs> uh yeah. 
I mean, yeah, let's subjugate Morocco. Look at all their conquests they have. Look at the Spanish reconquest, even. But hey, hey. Um, are they finally going to see a battle? Ooh, California's at war. What the hell is California at war with? With France? And, oh, of course! I completely missed this. The French are invading Peru. I don't know why they're doing this. What are they doing this for? I mean, he did call himself the Peru killer. I thought this was a meme. But no, he is actually genuinely, completely unironically landing and murdering Peru. How did he get Rio Grande? I guess the Dutch gave it to him. Which means he's going to feed the sword to a colonial name. Oh, no. He's actually taking this as an opportunity to kill Peru. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. I... Well, Peru's going to need a lot of luck in fighting the French, because God knows they don't have discipline. Uh, French, meanwhile, they are... Higher morale and Peru focused morale. Higher discipline by a huge margin, full offensive. A force they're not worthy of fighting the Ottomans, basically. Jesus Christ. No. Well, we're gonna have a battle, we're gonna be looking at each other menacingly. I'll find out in the next episode of this rate. Yep. <sighs> New ruler for the Moroccans. Um, they have 325, so the fact that they are very much underneath here, I would slack in here. 16k manpower, they could really use it. Although they are basically running Merc stacks exclusively at this point. They can get rid of these horses. This cavalry is never going to have a chance to flank. People overstack here so much, this cavalry is going to have zero chance to flank ever. Although, oh no, they don't have tech 19. Oh dear. Oh dear, that is a really big tech. That's mill tactics. Okay, this supply camp here makes sense. Attack, we're walking more in. You're trying to assemble something resembling a fullback row? Probably. I want to see this from the attack and perspective. 15 um, 15. You've got most of a back row here. And they are going in. Understandable. Fortunately for them, I think the Dutch have the full back row. Oh well. So that is that was a bad fight, base for them. Okay, they need to move that stack in. Read that stack. Yep. Okay. Over stacking. Yeah, everyone's favourite. Look what's morale like five point nine five. Wow, same Max Morales. Oh, but the Dutch are out of things to reinforce. Malay suicide into this stack. I think it might delay them enough. I'd actually give them time to take this here. No, they are. Are they stuck on this fort? No, they're not stuck on this fort. And ah, the British have been beaten out, so the Malays can uh, destroy the breast known of the British Navy. Understandable. Shubrin has more morale, but more engagement widths and just, yeah. I think in essence, are they going to go into here or here is a real question. I just want Ben in. I would not accept that. They are on the winning point here. Minus 16. Wow. Morocco's death for it. Netherlands. Uh, yep, I have forced them and Mercs is just a normal state for them, given their insane income. Ironically enough though, if they keep losing land in the colonies, they're gonna keep losing income. Because this, granted there's only 18 ducats worth out of this uh, 200 ducat node, but where's most of this army coming from? North Sea. So most of this is actually newer colonies, funnily enough. This has started to become a pretty pathetic form of their income, but any poor part of their income nonetheless, that we shall see. Uh, have the Peru had any miraculous luck? Doesn't look like it, although hey, they're getting some occupations back. The other thing is, of course, invading the new world is really painful. 
I like how France is just going on like a uh, on a murder spree for the sake of a murder spree, not for any economic gain, but just the most. Oh, here's the second battle. Really, first thing with 700 men is brave, but yeah, probably probably consolidate this place. Are they? They're not going to consolidate. Are they? No, they're not going to consolidate it. The Grand Campaign and people not consolidating their troops. It's almost like they're allergic to it or something. Well. That force falling, that frees up a very generous stack. Please don't overstack it. Right, they're gonna overstack it, aren't they? Is Mutapa gonna overstack this? Looks like they are. Mm -hmm. Well, they're gonna get rid of this, uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, they're doing halves. Get that three star general in. Get that three star general in. Okay, they're doing. Yeah, they're enforcing very well, actually. I think they're back. Yep, yep. Oh, and, oh no, where are these Dutch troops retreating? Oh no, that is a horrible place for these Dutch troops to retreat. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. I think that's that's a milk stack either way, but still. British trying to get back the siege of this fort, and now this is all. Not looking too good. The issue is there's a fort here and there's a captured fort here. Where do they run? Well, clearly to get a map attack 21 in the world, but... And a manpower again. That was a slack if I ever saw one. Oh, God. How bad is Matapa going? That looks promising. Because did they finish offensive? They did. And they are now running artillery combat ability. Yep. Yep. That set the chance, understandable. I think they just... Did they disband the stack? Probably. I'm not sure I did miss that, unfortunately. I'll have to watch back on my stream to see. This is a beautiful general, then. Mm, so close yet, so far, to their 60 level generals. And what's we'll happened? Uh, looking like, yeah, they picked it up quite early. 80 army tradition. Yeah. 37 generals. Why are they so cheap? I'm mirrors in the office court. Ooh. Is that something I'm missing? Probably, yeah. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Um, there's some quite good generals, and point is that the most of them being so cheap as a. Uh, can use it to slack it on professionalism quite a bit more generously with that. They're only 37 per. Okay, well, the issue is are they gonna fight in Fort Hollandia? It's a minus one, but the Dutch, I'm assuming they can, yeah, they can see the Dutch, so they got an idea to see them. I'm gonna pick this fight. Morocco with no manpower, anything. Could really be using a slacken as well themselves. White piece. Oh god. I do not see them accepting that. It also be a bit more conservative with not letting any rebels uh, run around their country. Nice little island garrisons even. Uh, maybe maybe on siege of these, unless they're keeping the Sunni zealots here for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that, but hey ho. Huh? Oh, okay, they have gone into the siege. I think they were just waiting for a melee to be on the front line with another three star general. Not as good as this one, actually. Although Maneva. Mm, Maneva Pip. Not too much, but hey, hey. Tapa could get. Just get your generals and slacken. You could really use this manpower. Get your generals and slacken. Oh, they are going in. They are going in. Okay, that's the fullback. Oh well, almost back row stack. Well, I mean, say they overstacked is a lie, or do. That's the fullback row here. Reinforced, but a different trend there. Okay, come in here. 
They have 40k to 40k to trade here. Interesting to see if they will let this fort. They may go to siege of this fort. I'm assuming not. They are moving off to siege of the fort. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. That's very well reinforced. Very well reinforced here. And the British troops, when they do arrive, they're going to be a lot worse than this. I think, yep, now is it, that will be a good time. British are also coming in. Maybe a bit overstacking here, actually, for them. But I think that would be it. And I think that would be it. Uh, once they take Fort Hollandia. Unless, can they get the reinforcements on? Did they? Okay, they probably start moving the next attack as well. Just to be safe here. Yep. Okay. Yep. God, rolling a zero is never any good. God, the Dutch actually might have a chance here, but... Yeah, no, they are reinforcing that well, and the Dutch don't have a chance here, understandable. 57% on the siege now. Hopefully not everyone leaves the siege. I've had that happen a couple of times when everyone overstacks, so everyone's so keen to get off the siege that, uh... The siege actually, you just walk off the siege and lose all the siege progress. Fortunately, if this were to fall now, that's a stack wipe of 110k men. No, they had a disease outbreak. Unfortunate. Oh, well, we have a smallish break here. How is the French obliteration of Peru? Pretty obliteration. Um, yep. I'm assuming they want to fight over this fort. Okay, they are going to fight over this fort. Is that a full back row? That is a full back row. The French do have a... That is almost a full back row. They're missing two cannons. At the end of the world, but... God, the discipline difference. The tactics is 2.9 to 2.2, yeah, no. That's 103%. No chance there, yeah, nope, nope, nope. France, however, has been summoned. They're getting the rest of the stacks ready. Yeah, no. And then move the second stack in. That's that. This force still not fallen. They're going to go back to the siege of Great Beast. <laughs> kind of ironic. Really, a white piece off. Oh God, I would not accept that now. Especially with the Malay naval dominance. They could actually threaten mainland Britain now. That would be kind of ironic with the uh, Malayans invading. Yeah, I mean, it does look like it. Oh, there goes the fort. Okay. Well. And last stand of the British Navy. Oh, Britain does have more engagement with now. But they have quality. The thing is, Malay does have quality ideas, which does help their Navy. Oh, well. Not looking too well for them. They dip. Yep, they know. They see the right on the wall. Where are they retreating to is the real question, then. And Britain is getting scared. They're getting, they're getting a new navy up and running. <laughs> Understandable. I'll be kind of scared as well. I have a pretty good admiral as well for maneuvers. I think to be sniffed at, but yeah. Well, they are going back to the siege of this. That's almost a full back row <laughs> again. <laughs> Mercenary companies running out of manpower. God, that is starting to hurt from Morocco. Nice for more tap, huh? Still not slackening, although they could. I think they're just trying to get by without slackening, here's my guess. And to be fair to them, I think they will be able to. But yeah, no, I think this is basically it. As far as the Dutch and GB are concerned, that's, that's their armies. I mean, as far as they're concerned, that is their army, yes. Where are their stacks? 44k here, 42k here. Yeah, that is their army. For the scent of it. And that over there is the British any chance of anything being destroyed. No manpower and a pathetic amount of well not pathetic, that is still a respectable amount of manpower recovery on my sorry, but not the 1v3 1v3 and as far as 1v3 they're kinda of, that's what they have to do here. 
because GB's ideas for actual fighting. They should be decent at boats, but they're not. Malaya's got more focus on bosses quality, and they've seemingly over focused. Just goes to ironically show just the, the sheer difference though between quantity and quality, because Malaya has the same everything, just quality instead of quantity. And they're getting their quantity, the thing is quantity is an amazing idea group, but they're getting their quantity just for being so massive. Development wise, if you look at their economy, 1.6k development is putting in very nicely. Well, just about starting the minutes great power, ironically enough, but still. Yeah. Poor, uh, poor Moroccans here, really getting the short end of the stick consistently. Is Fire Cry kind of the same? Yeah, that's that's people were saying about this for ages now. Same flag. It's beautiful. Well, are they gonna just let them attrition to death here? No, they're handing this over to Morocco. And they're gonna demand land? They do, they probably used to go go on siege to Morocco for the love of God. Can I even take this all? I think they can. That's not too. That's yeah, can be a trivia. They can take all of this. I need to get themselves a slice of South African pie. In fact, they can take this and a slice of South African pie and probably even grab here. I'd be better off looking at Morocco because they're the war leader, actually. That'd be the smart thing to do, won't it? Um. What can we take here? They see this, but they don't see the cape. I love maps in this game sometimes. I actually genuinely do. Um, God. I'd love to see it. Are they going to fight this stack or not? They are recovering strength, but... What actually is this stack? I was going to say they have two back rows here, but one of these back rows is completely gone. Well, mostly completely gone, so... They basically have a, but they have still a back row here. This will fight, they just they can't reinforce this from anywhere. So once they start losing morale, they start losing morale consistently. And that's the peace deal. Probably still keep fighting this as the Dutch, but they're very much in the back foot here. We can start randomly getting Merc stacks out of here, though, is the issue. I'm surprised I haven't done that and start trying to regain some kind of fight back here, but. Mm. I'll try and sneak out a cheeky Merc stack over here, siege this. Blast down balls and assault here, blast down balls and assault here, try and rescue this, but it, it's basically a pipe dream anyway. Well, we shall see what the Dutch do. It's up to the Dutch to decide. I'm interested to see what the French want from Peru. That's like their absolute and utter obliteration. Oh, they're outside their capital. Love to see the French committing more armies to Peru than they committed to defending against the Ottomans. Uh, oh god, he loves them. <laughs> yeah, they are just going all right. All the way in. You know what, Peru? I'll be honest, I don't need defensive ideas with the right choice here. They're not going into that battle, do they? They don't want to touch that 150k man. But that attrition must be getting them. Like, how much have they lost to attrition? 75k. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to gamble some good money that a lot of that attrition is from this province alone now. <laughs> There's the peace deal. Did Matapa get anything out of this? They got a province. A province. Hmm. And ah, uh, Malay getting some islands. These are actually colonized by the Spanish. Ironically enough. So I think that's. Oh, they won't get yeah, Spanish culture, of course, but. 
Oh, they're just getting beaten back and again, again and again, repeatedly. Seems to be a good. I uh, as much as I like to encourage people to start wars, seems to be a good uh, indication that uh, people that start wars tend to lose them. Although they're saying unconditional for Peru, defeating my previous statement on the spot here, but yeah, people that seems to st people that start tight wars tend to lose them. Uh, Russia being an example here, Dutch twice now. Um, I'm not saying that, that might be more confirmation of bias because the, the uh, Matapa went into a close one, they did win. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not unconditional, so I'm gonna have to. Uh, that's a good piece out. Yeah, I think France is basically beating up Peru so that GB can actually beat them. It's kind of ironic seeing the French and the British work so close together. But hey ho. Um, No, never mind. They do need to call this if they want to get that colonial nation. Uh, they need five cores, basically. Right, yeah. Also, this was fully sanctified for the most part by Peru, so they kept their cores, with the exception of this province here. I think it was that was the one that the French started with. And these two provinces here were not sanctified. Peru kept their course. Not that it would mean much. I don't think they can turn a tide against the French. Unless the French are fighting the Ottomans, in which case that would be a good time. Well, Peru can become defender of the Catholic faith. Um, yeah. God, poor Austria. Not much left of them here. I also love the extended French Alsace Lorraine holdings. I mean, they've entered Vienna with it, for crying out loud. Which is quite impressive. The French themselves making a very special amount of trade from Genoa. Yep. It's an interesting positioning for their armies. I think this was more of a... Yeah, the force farm here is, just in case the Ottomans do show up, that this is the border they want to burn with. And to be fair, this is good land to hold as burning land. Do we need market bases here? No need at all. But hey ho, we shall see how that goes for them eventually. I do want to see an Ottoman France war, though I think it'll go very much like the Ottoman Russia war. I think though France and Russia between them could be the Ottomans here. Or France Delhi. Or France or uh, Russia Delhi. It can't be the Ottomans. And that we shall see. Hey Timmy's back. Independent even, and about to lose to uh, pretender rebels. But that's just part of the fun. You are did not take the opportunity to go in against this disgusting Russian Korea. But uh, hey ho. Dutch Guinea looking a bit more skinny now, too. So. I think they're not actually sure if they lost land here, funnily enough. The Dutch, the Dutch won't have cores. Morocco even have a core they didn't get back. Tragic. Oh, it wasn't really conquest, understandable. But yeah, God, Yuan is making all that money from China. Tapa, yeah, basically they were they avoided trying to slacken again, understandable. I mean, they got away with it, so. Yep. Respectable discipline. 94% crown land. That's something to call home about. Keeping this, understandably. Ah, uh, Mir's and E, that's the one, yep. I'll keep that, and... Minus five max chapters, it probably will be revoking there if I don't need, but I'm not the one playing, so I can't talk. Ha! Uh, have you got all their good manufacturers? Oh, just the one they're missing, but for the most part they've got their manufacturers put up. I guess no point even checking France for Ottomans. Well, I guess they actually have a couple, but nothing major. You can tell by their economy that, uh... Oh, they've, de they've proclaimed economic hegemon, actually. That's interesting. That's also very tragic. If someone can hurt their economy and knock them down a peg, that means they'll lose it. Hmm. They have their 99% of the trade in here, making them half that economic hegemon. But 
God, are they hurting for merchants, ironically enough? Have they gone trade? They have gone trade, and they're still hurting for merchants, because the merchant here is to heal. Be a bit more from trade still, although probably not too much. Yeah, they've got the merchants in the important nodes. Understandably. Hmm. No. <laughs> merchants throwing all 22 ducats out of crime here. Although, again, that's nothing to be scoffed at at all. Loving the fault line they built here in the event, in the, during the Russian War thing. Again, always interesting to see where players put down forts. Ottomans having, compared to the French fort line, the Ottoman fort line is a lot more uh, concise. Just these two here, one of them even being a grassland. Once the grep falls, they're, for the most part, this bit of land is open. Well, and then, past that, they have to go through some pretty horrible forts. Especially for here, although again, here's yeah, a pretty high. I think they're trying to grab Slovakia, the full state. A for the gold mine, not the gold mine matters exactly at this point. But B because it's well, nice mountains, especially here to stick a fort on. It's the beautiful place to stick a fort on. In fact, there's already a fort there. But yeah, I do want to see what the uh, Ottomans take here in terms of uh, what they take out of Austria. No, nice borders, I see. Relatively nice clean borders. You have to commend the Ottoman borders here, even if they're not commended over here. What is this? What is this? That is horrible. Well, what's a bit holy and admin? Did they tear up recently? Not sure. But either way, that's not the end of the world. Ah, for once no player wars, the world is finally chilling a bit. But yeah. I am surprised that after this Peru unconditional, GB is not going in, but I think GB uh, missed their opportunity there. They've given, they given Peru their breather to get their armies back to uh, the point of functionality, yep, so... Well, not exactly, but they give them somewhat enough of a breather, especially even to California now. California actually packing the punches once they build their army back up with some respectable discipline and morale. Uh, they have quality, econ, and quantity here, and even plutocratic. Again, plutocratic. Before you laugh at the career player, he's he's not bad at the game. That's what he started with, because he uh, exodus to California, out of Korea, following well Yuan and Yuan mostly basically happening to him. The only person was France, and let me guess, he's bullying some poor innocent AI. Yep, yep, he is. That is Tunis that has been very bullied right now. Taking Sicily here, I'm assuming. I love how even Observer has to wait until the... Also, we can speed through. I don't know why we're not speed through. Yeah, they can take a generous amount of land here. Coalitions really just don't matter anymore. <laughs> Either people are going to fight you or they don't. Coalition doesn't impact much. Although it's technically an alliance will bypass. And it does kind of force the members of the coalition to fight with you. No separate piece in allowed. Either way, that we shall see how that goes for them. I kind of do want to see a, an MP coalition in Insulot in this, for example, or a France or a Russia. Because they each, they all get so much AE, it's kind of insane. It's not like single player, but AE, well, is not completely unignorable. You can actually ignore AE, but, uh, well, sorry, you can't completely ignore AE, my point being, but you can ignore it a lot harder than you normally ignore it. And yeah, they're going against Spain, understandable. I still don't know why Morocco's maritime it is, for the record. I, uh, I think it's for events, is my best guess. And he's bankrupt. Makes perfect sense, ironically enough, too. He has to get his bankruptcy out while the truce is the France, France, although, well, it's more of a truce with the Dutch at this point. France can get the rest of this. How is the score looking for everyone? Uh, it is ledger. I will, I will one day learn that the score is covered in the ledger. Ooh, dear Korea, that is a terrible score. Ottomans. Lower Don, okay. And Arissa has a call on them. Then Malaya, huh? 
I need to kill Khmer for the next card, but if they do, that's uh, they can arrive at bottom and stay deadly, understandably. Well, they're a risk card as well. You are getting quite a few respect amount of score as well. Russia next here, understandably too. Fortunately, Azov has been out by the Ottomans, so they rip a lot of their... Um, Mutapa coming in six, kind of a surprise entry here. Just about squeezing out France, but still getting quite a lot of score. California with nothing, unfortunate, but oh well. <laughs> Malaya actually kind of going for second place. Uh, could be going for first since they get their victory card. And their victory card. Well, I mean, if they get this victory card, that's Khmer gone as a country because they'll be taking these two. St well, it's a very heartland of Khmer, but at the same time, if Malaya wants it, they could probably negotiate some kind of agreement with Delhi for Delhi to stay out. But Khmer now, I mean, that subbed pretty well in their country, funnily enough, so they do have quite an army ready to fight back. They're going down offensive themselves, keeping up on tech, or a despite dip and admin. I think they've been down quite a bit there. So, Miena, respectable economy. So, I think Malay will win, but if Delhi decides to intervene, they can keep them, them alive. I was just looking for them. Tapa's been doing quite well out of this as well. Keeping their allies alive, and basically, by making the fighting happen in Morocco, not in them, they're keeping their country nice and not well raided. Manpower's recovered somewhat. They can grab Miltek 21 as well. Looks like a good day to be Matapan. But definitely a great day to be Fash. And, yep, GB went in, okay. That prediction was correct. GB actually was going to go in. I thought they were going earlier, but. Here they go. Are these Mercs? No, they are not Mercs. They are fullback rows. Okay, well, fullback row is 34. And they're only 32, so just under fullback row, but for the most part, almost the back row. So in they go, but has, yeah, kind of, Peru has honoured. Uh, well, I don't know about you, but that to me tells me they have recovered and they're ready for round two. Either way, economy very much so. California quickly, quickly thrown together something resembling a stack. Uh, they have quite a few forts, some bad forts, but forts nonetheless. They'll be able to give Bison the time they need to get their stacks together. This will be an interesting one. I'm not sure who will be able to hold this one. I think we want to also see Britain, Britain's perspective here because they're on the offensive. They have to be careful here. They they have to bear in mind that discipline-wise, the only ones they're beating is Peru. And California is, uh, well, an equal here yeah, to them. They definitely don't want to repeat it the last time, I'll tell them that much, where they were uh, forced back and lost that war, so... Hmm. Yeah, not a hard prediction. Fair enough. I just thought they were going earlier. I thought, okay, well, they didn't go in then, so they won't go in again. Because doing the Peru war would have been the best time. Maybe they were under truce, actually. They may have missed the truce. I have a terrible way habit of not keeping up with truces. Thinking, why don't they doubt? Oh, because they've got a truth. Uh, I am going to just pop around to both of them, say any speed 2 requests can be honoured, but hey ho. Heads up, you can request speed 2 if you want. Uh, uh, oh, that would be nice. Okay. Yeah, uh, please. Thanks. Okay, that is a heads up. I don't know if you will remember with that. So. Do you have any... Uh, do you have any opinions, Livin, about what's going on? I mean, I, I am was, very I... impressed that France bothered coming over to you. Normally, Fra okay, I've played with Squeaky quite a few grand campaigns, and he always does this meme where, like, he plays, like, 
Westphalia, right? In one of the campaigns. And then he yep. was like, okay, there's a player that annoyed me in, um, what was the example? In Northern Persia, right? And he puts mm -hmm. his name, like, that player's name, Killer. And he never bothers yep. to kill them because, you know, they're always nips in the boat. And then he never actually carries out the threat. I think this is the first time with all my full experience of playing with him that he's actually bothered to go and attack the person he promises to kill. So, congratulations. You've, you've made a first. First. <laughs> but hey, man. Well, best of luck in the current war, break. though. This one looks a bit more winnable for you, though. Yeah, well, I, I just slashed my manpower. I just slashed my professionalism, considering professionalism I was a is just a uh, Professionalism is just a battery for manpower, anyway. Changed my mind. It was expensive. It was expensive to get it in the first place. Oh, yeah, but that's... Uh, yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. You got France to actually get... You must have annoyed him a lot to get him to actually come over and kill you. Great. Oh, yeah. He just bought 50k mercenaries. Okay, I'm going in. I enjoy. Right. Probably should not be keeping that chat on the stream. In case GB has decided to stream tonight. Decided not. Yep. GB murking up. As we can see there with our 50k. It is still mercs, but ironically enough, that's. <laughs> Only makes them around ten percent worse. God. Hmm. So far, just staring each other. Fortunately, Britain also kind of going in semi-blind here. Their colonies will be great for sieging, but they're terrible for reinforcing properly. And while they're great for numbers, for well. Carpet sieges, that's about all they can really provide. He's going to need to win the battles for them. Peru here with something resembling a front line. Oh, yeah, they are moving off. Peru tech group boys are Western. Uh, sorry, not Peru. GBR Western, obviously, but Peru is high American. No, they are Western, actually. It's California high American. And they're Chinese. I forgot about that, they can teach me our Chinese. Uh... Hmm. Very cautious on the British part here. Very cautious. Kind of have to commend them from the first time that they've been so cautious. So it's up in half, and this is a. I mean, they have a full back row and only one reinforcement stack, but it's not like the um, Peru either have much. Miltech 21 is coming up. Miltech 21 without mil tactics means that if one person has it, they'll either really. In if Peru gets Miltech 21 compared to everyone else not having it, they'll basically eliminate their discipline advantage. And then some, I think. So that is quite a big one because of mil tactics. Um, so just do keep an eye. I don't want to be too aggressive and to snag in recruitment. Although, potentially, California is reachable. Is GB anywhere near Tech 21? Oh, they have it. Ooh, okay. That would do it. That would do it. Even more reason for the uh, for them to be cautious here. Of course, two full back rows. Not sure how well that's going to do reinforcing wise as soon as the infantry front line starts to melt. But there's 43k infantry front line to melt to try and melt through as well over there. This will be interesting. I don't actually. Know. I think Peru and. California definitely bring the numbers here a lot more than Britain can bring but Britain for the first time actually has some kind of quality advantage well they are going in suppressing that stack run off oh Britain you're over stacking no you need this to reinforce what are you doing Ooh. they might get away with it but still yeah got the distance did they did they burn this to the ground? And no, they did not. Um, I might get away with it, no, but California. Yep. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. They've overstacked this. Always a shame to see a player overstack. Oh, actually. Okay, no, no, that was a bit close. 
for comfort, but Britain doesn't have anything here and they've got our 35k. Yep, they overstacked, they overstacked. Unfortunate for them, but don't overstack. And you don't need two full back rows of artillery. <laughs> you really don't. Uh, they have their manpower though, they can slack and they're by no means out of this. Um, this is just one fight of many. Are they retreating to somewhere nice? Yeah, that fort, they're not going to be able to because... Are there forts in the way here? They're not, but I don't think I'll risk running them down. <laughs> Central America keeping the... Uh, well, I guess it's Central America. My American geography is terrible for context. Uh, Greater Alabama area of America is keeping the uh, the uh, British colonies entertained, um, and I think they'll be entertained for a while because they, those colonies do not believe in having enough artillery to actually siege a fort. So they'll be entertained for a while. Probably take these off forced march, but there's no reason to actually. To be fair, they don't need to recover anything. Well, 40 years, and 41 years until the 10 year cool down until free force march and then I'd be a bit less uh, pedantic about wasting your mill points. Um, but hey ho, it's only one mill point and if you can't afford to waste one mill point, well, yeah. I would take these guys off force march though because they need to recover their manpower and recover their infantry cap here. Especially as mercenaries. Meanwhile, how is Peru themselves doing? Absolutely fine, well under force limit. Get another general, they can slacken again. And a positive economy, very positive economy. Can you pay back their loan here, ironically enough? Still making huge amounts of money. Let's go back to the GB. Are they going to try and reinforce this or not? We shall see. They're going to need, I think, five months to recover this to mostly fightable state. So you need to five, spend five months not in a battle, and hopefully not attriting as well, but not the end of the one, I guess, if they do attrit. GB losing money, even if it's only 20 ducats a month, is a rare sight. But I guess they got very spooked there with the... Uh, <laughs> with my lady up their navy there, getting a new one. Sooner rather than later. Especially since, well, they do need a navy in case Peru tries to do anything for anything with this. Hmm. Dutch Columbia here as well. Not always, not a nice thing to have on your border. Oh, that we shall see. Britain kind of run out of their forts. I want to see also, is California going to decide to go on the offensive here, or are they going to actually uh, just get their fort back, cut their losses? This is a level 6 fort, so it's not going to be trivial to siege it. And they did uh, scorch us this, yeah. They scorch us this. So this would be a really horrible place to fight into, because reinforcement too. GB doesn't believe in reinforcements, they'll just go all in, it seems, but. Peru's going to have a hard time reinforcing this with scorched earth, they, so they might mess up by. Uh, had a couple stats go in. Yep. Uh, wait, what did I just see? Sorry? Japan. Japan going in. Conquest of what? What's Japan being promised out of this? A and B, can they actually be bothered to go over there? Oh, Japan is taking Alaska. Honestly, if I was Peru, I'd give them Alaska. I don't think they have any real interest in it at all. That's what Kodiak is. Makes sense. Anyway, let's get back to where there's actual fighting. Yeah, okay, they are decided to go for this fort. They have blasted down the walls. They have got to 21 as well. Okay, yeah, they're force marching in. They're force marching in. They are... 
okay, they do need these force marches. Peru may want to like even start walking now because that is scorched earth, and that's going to be colonial travel times. Do we have a full back row here? We have the majority of our back row, but the British have a back row now as well. And oh, okay, yep, they are taking this. To oh dear lord, okay. I guess you can overstack if you immediately stack 250k in, but... I think they might still have this. Unfortunately, Scorched Earth, they need to get in there sooner rather than later. That was a bad morale roll, and that's it. That is that. And then, as we talked about earlier, these reinforcement stacks... Isn't... Okay, there's that turn right here, so they have a second full back row guide. As soon as these guys get back in. So they have their second chance. But, yeah. As soon as Peru arrives, unfortunately Peru's going to arrive by the second coming of Christ. And that's where Scorched Earth... Okay, they do get there in time. They do need to start feeding the sun, though. Yep. Oh god, yeah, that's the thing. You have to be so careful when it's Scorched Earth, because it takes so long to reinforce the end with Force March. So that's a Britain... Getting back there. It's interesting to see Japan bothering to get involved. I guess maybe independently, to be honest, but hey. Yeah. Poor little native here. Is he a subject of. Oh, I think he's a subject of. Yeah. I was gonna say, how has he kept his independence this long? But, either way... I think GB's actually put all their subjects on attach, on attach mode, so that they, uh... Yep, so they actually help Syrup Plan, especially with 78k. Even if it is, let me guess, complete garbage troops? Yep, this is, this is about as garbage as it gets, yep. I mean... This is no discipline, really, and the only thing going for them is a reasonable amount of morales. Ah, well, we have to take a break for the formation of the ugliest Germany I've seen in a while. Why this Austria is still... Oh, my lord, but that is Germany. With a very interesting location for it. Their German capital is literally bordering the Netherlands. Wow, that is... Interesting location for their capital. Have they gone German? They've still kept Westphalian ideas instead of German ideas. Interesting. I would have definitely gone German ideas there. But they got the most important mission possible. They can construct the Kiel Canal. Either way, the Reich is here. We've got the early Reich achievement for him. If, of course, you could get a shooting in multiplayer, which you can't, for the record. But yes. Well, well done to him, especially forming Germany Cologne as multiplayer. I mean, he did this so well and... Uh, he made himself a useful ally to do that, I'll tell you that much. Interesting to see he kept West Folly ideas. I would still take German ideas over it. You keep your 5% discipline, you get 20% goods produced. You get loads of other very nice things. Although West Folly ideas are nothing to be scoffed at either. Alright, well, for the most part, it seems they have recovered. I do want to see where they're going to get then pick their next battle. Um. More interesting to see probably than that is actually where's Britain keeping their back rows? That is not one of the areas. But yeah, they're keeping their two back rows here. So they probably will be able to reinforce with the back row to here. Understandable. And God, look at them. Look at them. They're just the Shimon colonials. They have. When they're not doing sieging for half a decade, they're, uh, they're actually somewhat useful, funnily enough. <laughs> from the Shin numbers they can field. California, Peru, of course, not having that privilege because they are basically colonial nations. Is Japan doing anything interesting yet, apart from just sitting in Alaska? No, he is for the most part just sitting in Alaska, understandable. 
completely and utterly understandable. It does look like they're lucky enough and maybe starting a fight. Both having under back rows of artillery, just grab the two extra artillery. But are these provinces awkward to attack into? No, not at all. But no, they're going in, okay. No, they're not going in. Mm -hmm. Oh, six swords, yeah. Up to date. Going very much over for summit for uh, California. I'm assuming from Merc stacks. Yep. Yep, once these Mercs die, they will just be gone. Okay. Peru in first. GB over stacking, as. I think, ironically enough, because their troops are quite far away, they will move to overstack this. But no, they're going here to cut off their reinforcements, picking a second fight. Very, very smart thing to do when you have a spare macro of artillery. Although, unfortunately, it's not exactly cut off their reinforcements. No, if anything, it's Peru that's going to cut off their reinforcements. If they can catch them here, which they do, they do catch them there. Unfortunately, they don't have a back row of artillery themselves. But they do... I think they'll just be able to win on numbers here, because they just need to keep this battle going long enough for this battle to, over, to be over so they can reinforce here. And yes, that battle is over, so they can now reinforce here, although they need to. Sheer numbers over here, and the, uh, the, the AI is notoriously awful for just actually helping you in your war. Please don't ever rely on subject AI. They're still very busy sieging down Chirau. I probably offended whoever whoever lives in Chirau there. So um, if you do have the unfortunate uh, decision on your life to live in Chirau, I'm sorry. <coughs> Ouch. Either way, is is it still scorched us? It's still still scorched us. Yeah, this is still scorched us. Until September sixty-two. I wonder if Britain will rescorch it. But California, I mean, they cannot keep this up, surely. How many loans can they take? Oh, a lot. Okay, they can't keep this up for ages. I take everything back. To be fair, the land exactly isn't burning. Not well, the, the part of the land will traditionally associate with California either. And I'm, I'm still love to see the, uh, I think, are these new colonies? Where are they colonizing? I think here? Yeah, here. Still like to see them, still love to see Korean Californians keep colonizing even there, even during the war. Although they could be using that last colonist, I guess they're really doing for that. They're white piece, I think that's because, yeah, Japan is just grabbing. This from Peru, understandable. No idea why Port Peru, Portugal. Oh, nice that that's just Alaska does go into uh, Nippon so that actually makes sense to colony for them to grab well they are sieging this even with uh, scorched us the question is will they be able to get away with it because is Britain hemorrhaging money and they've retreated quite generously okay they are gonna fight again they have manpower again but I am wanting to think how they've been slackening. They have not been slackening. But they can. They generously have a force limit. Losing that money generously as well. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. They have a lot of good buildings they can be building too. I mean, look at all these buildings they can be building. Yeah. But I guess they've got bigger fish to fry than that now. Hmm. Are they gonna go? Is this still... Is this still scorched? And actually, I think it will be for this battle. Yeah, okay, so the GB does decide to doom stack their way into here. This will be scorched, or they... There's a back on it now. Hmm. I think they still have this. Even if it's been scorched, they'll be able to hold with a back row here long enough for the stacks to walk in at the leisurely pace. And especially if they will force march, which they probably should. Which they probably would, sorry. Um, Britain kind of walked around picking up their stack. Yeah, they're arriving here, they're going to try and fight them off again. Yeah, I'd be interesting to see, yeah, and there's the peace deal. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be very surprised they would put any kind of men, and let any men die for Alaska. If you want Alaska at this point, you can kind of just take it. Yep, GB going in. 
It'd be really awkward if this fort would fall 21%. Nope, it did not. Well, is this defensive edicted? Well, I, Britain can't defensively do this. It's defensively edicted, unfortunately, by California South. Yeah, they are walking in. Is that with a... Where's the back row? They have a back row of random colonials that are right with the battle plate. Ooh, and it's still scorched is the issue. It is still scorched. Britain and overstack and name the more iconic gear. This is so terribly overstacked. The the front line is what is combat with GB? Combat with is 34. That means only 68 of those thousand men are actually fighting right now. I understand that California's overstacking themselves, but you do not need 58,000 reserve. No, they overstack the same. California just has so much here as well. Issue is, even I can't even say that if you didn't overstack this, you would, you would have won this. I don't think they would have. I think they need the Dutch if they want any real chance of winning here. Uh, Dutch or the French. Because their armies are not exactly made, made to fight. Not trivial either, but... Could be a lot better. Fortunately enough. They've taken their callback of Iron Man. Oh wow, they're actually getting caught in country. <laughs> they did fix it, they don't want caught in country. Best disaster for single player. They're probably not the best to go to a literal disaster during MP. Kind of put a target on yourself. And there goes any real British expansion. I guess this fort does still count. Uh, Chirul. I'm trying to think what state this is, but. I have no clue. <laughs> my American geography really pairs the comparison to uh, my European geography. Uh, in my defense, pain in America is boring. Changed my mind. White piece. I think they're going to want a bit more than white piece here, Britain, I'll be honest with you. I think they want a bit more. Probably this land at the very least. Now that we are looking at who will probably win here, and I think it is going to be a Peru... Uh, I am already clicking on California. I am an amazing host. Uh, observer. How much can they take here? The answer is a lot. Jesus Christ. They can take a lot. Basically the entire... Jesus Christ. And that's that. They can take this. It's a huge amount of land. Well, obviously that included, but they just sieged it. So, and the issue is for Britain is, uh, well, if we look at the English Channel, where is most of this thing coming from? Okay, most of it has been stolen by Germany, and why is Sigma of Europe paused? Did he leave? Or something? Any particular reason for the pause? Uh, pause why? No reason, sorry. Didn't mean to. Did a cat walk across the keyboard or something? No, 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 no. I, I thought I'd press escape and look at statistics, didn't realize I'd pause the game. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. There's a rule mm. break or something, no? <laughs> Someone <laughs> wants to look at statistics. Rule <laughs> break? <laughs> yeah. Boop. Bit, bit awkward. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen, I've seen worse excuses for pauses before, to be fair, you know. But hey ho. Um. Okay. Do want to see what they push for here? 
But uh, sorry, as I was saying, it is a problem for GB because, okay, granted a lot of this income they're nicking from Germany. I did click on the Dutch, but it doesn't matter. For the straight end, what do we look? 85, this is a mean nick from Lübeck. Because Germany really needs to take control of Lübeck and not tolerate this. They should not be tolerating Netherlands nicking 50% of their trade. Of which, this is just light ships nicking this trade. Like, Germany really needs to tell the Netherlands to not stop nicking their trade. I don't think they can probably be in a position to start enforcing that to some regard. But either way, where else is a lot of this coming from? Well, Ivory Coast and the North Sea. And where is the Ivory Coast and the North Sea getting it from? Well, they're getting it from the New World. And if they start losing the New World, that's going to just also start to hit them really bad financially. Oh, well, I was talking about economies. I think we have a battle here. Well, not I think I see the battle here. Britain over stacking as always. No surprise there. Question is though, do the uh, does Peru etc have enough though? Oh, they're stacking somewhat themselves. Equal mill tactics, so slightly higher morale. That was a good roll for them. Peru coming down to yeah. Just to be on the safe side, I'll do. I'll just I take that. Reinforcement. Yep, that's it. That's the battle one. Again. Yep, understandable. Have a good day. Britain being pushed around here by the colonial powers. Always love to see a you know reverse of that. Uh, how is Peru doing? Sorry. Losing a mostly trivial amount of money, to be fair. Trivial over for them again. But, uh, yeah. They're fine. They can keep this going for as long as necessary. Three loans in means, okay, they spent quite a bit of money, but... They're not going to be able to get 65% trade power here. They have 2%. <laughs> oh, yeah. So have a respectable trade income. Well, I say respectable, 41 ducats. A not trivial trade income. I wonder where they're getting that from. Uh, mostly Mex. Mm, understandable, yeah. That's the thing with being a New World Empire. Your trade is very much screwed up. But, yeah. Well, either way, best of luck for them here. Uh, I think they will have the siege here. They probably should move stacks off it. But, we can afford the attrition. How is GB doing? Are they manage Are they going to go in for round three, third times the charm? Oh, they're certainly murking to that to an extent. That looks like it, but hmm. that we shall see. That we shall see. Definitely starting to be on the back foot here. Only real occupation is here, and um, and a couple of islands that their colonies grabbed. But beyond that, not much. Oh, Spain's here. Despite the Spanish best efforts. Mm. Despite the French best efforts, sorry. Kidding me. Spanish. <laughs> Love to see AI space still trying to colonize. Poor things. GB is hemorrhaging money, so not in debt. They will be next month. Not looking too good for them. Oh. They've re they've they've kind of rescavenged all of their colonial like possessions there again. But the issue is, is that going to be enough for them? It's, it's kind of they've scavenged themselves most of a back row as well. I think. No, actually, that's a complete lie. They've scavenged themselves well over a back row here. They have a back row worth of just AI and two back rows. They have three back rows here, no infantry in force. 
Which is so ironic given that they really need infantry to reinforce here with um, more than anything. Let's look at this from the uh, California perspective. Are they still hugely over force limit? Yeah, uh, I would say they can probably drop these. Or I'd certainly drop something into that, although manpower. Mm. Probably will preserve manpower so we'll consolidate instead of dropping. Like, take out 1k less here. There's enough infantry to feed them. But at the same time, they can take many more loans, yeah, so they can just keep going. Being hugely ever forced them, not the end of the world for them either. Hmm. I think that will be a uh, that will be it for Britain. Yeah, they're not even trying to pick a fight here. Uh, not on the front lines anyway. And there they go, further in. Is this a good fort? I mean, it could be a better fort, but. I don't know if there's much of, in terms of mountains in, ter in uh, Central America, so woods is about as good as you'll get, unfortunately. Britain might be on a pound and back foot here. Mm, either way, we shall see. I'm still loving the strategy of getting a Merc stack to just collate yourself in artillery back row and have this as your, uh, as your suicide. Although, unfortunately, the thing with subjects as well is... I don't have manpower yet, but unfortunately, that's a yet. These down to 15k. The Syrup plant has or uh, is out of manpower right now. And they have 76k on that front line, so once they start melting, it's not going to be too good for them. And it's not more where that came from. Is this betrayal? Let's find out. Oh, Khmer, California, Delhi, Peru, Malayan. Okay. Yep, they have Malay going in for their victory card. Understandable. Delhi honours, but does Delhi fight? Oh, they've stopped drilling, that's something, but they're not exactly rushing to Khmer's aid. Something tells me that they're talking about 12 months of, uh, yeah, I can peace out after 12 months. That's, hmm. Well, in that case, ironically enough, that's quite an even battle here, although I definitely have Malayas uh, back in this one. I, I think Khmer has enough to, to fight back, though, and to not just keel over. 179k, they should pretty not have mossball forts in their country. I don't know why they're mossballing forts during the middle of a war, but and it's not for me to know. Um, are they going to fight them here in the jungle? Minus one roll? That we shall see. They are looking like they're ready to fight, and they have been given a peace deal. I think Malaya is trying to grab this and their victory card, is my guess. But. Just really checking any battles here. Well, a retreating British army against a beaten up California army tells me that I did, in fact, miss a battle. Well, the fact that the British are retreating tells me that nothing new is actually happening as the war. British going in again, and British getting get slaughtered. Well, I guess that's more war score for the Peru side. But this war is interesting. I do want to see if... Because uh, thing is, Malaya has so much to give here. An economy, no debt, 84k manpower. But Khmer, too, is not trivial. I'll pause for peace. Uh, I'll pause for unconditional, but I won't. I will not pause for just a quick grand of peace deal, I'm afraid. Um, I'll pause if unconditional. Uh. Right. Britain over here. Hopefully, some pause for a pistol. Do you? Do you have to? I 
cannot type in there, of course, because I'm technically ghosted as an observer. Um, Yeah, I'm afraid I don't want to allow too much pausing because that's going to get awkward for us to sign up other name. Uh, yeah. Oh, my leg got beaten back here while I was uh, talking about pausing. That's interesting. And Khmer. Well, they're definitely going to go for that. I think they missed their chance to reinforce him. Uh, well, that's awkward. E4 being E4, I guess. And Delhi has not pieced out. But they've gone back to drilling, so. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, they're getting a hundred ducats a month out of Delhi. Ooh. Okay. Well, we know which side has been back in that war. So Delhi, while not wanting to fight themselves, are not willing to uh, let Khmer die idly by either, so. Mm. I love how California is still confusion. California, on the other hand, could really use some of the subsidies, and there's the piece still. Britain being beaten back and back and back. But at least with only one war going on, I can, I can focus on this. Asia being back at war is uh, quite the wrong thing. That is a very respectable general, though. And they have a six fire guy as well, and a five. Yeah, okay. oh, that's a six shoot. That's a six fire admiral. That guy can't fight on land. That's not how admirals work. Malay, uh, taking ten amount of crown land, but yeah, no, they they have a surplus of what the uh, commerce is getting as a subsidy. So my money still on them winning this, but I think if Delhi starts getting involved, they they can boss can Malay around. Probably off the side in here, but there's no way Delhi can get a navy. Well, it does seem that Delhi's keeping a precautionary couple of stacks just in case um, they Malaya tries anything, but in terms of actual fighting, probably not. Oh, that is an economy. They can afford 100 ducats a month of subsidies and still be uh, fine. That's the might of India. I'm assuming they were they manufactured almost everything. Jesus Christ. And they have some glorious workshops now as well because of it. A 0.5 workshop is nothing to be sniffed at. Hmm. Now Delhi is also definitely a, an easily a great power to contend with and uh, someone who could 1e1 and win. Have they drew themselves up to 76 army professionalism? Ooh, that's not unfortunate. I think they died without an air. But let me guess, they had their general drilling. Their really drilling. Well, Khmer not willing to make any pushes. I think they're very content to fight them on this fort until the end of time. But from that, will uh, Malaya actually try and go in? They've got their stack sorted out. Still using cavalry this late. I guess because, to be fair, their cavalry is quite decent, but... I still prefer infantry in my front row. Oh, cavalry. There's no chance of cavalry flanking us. The only thing cavalry is really good at at this point. So, hmm. Just see my day. I started to yeah, go back there for around two. Full back row stack. Once the manpower recovers, which it will sooner rather than later. Um, on the siege of the fort here. Hopefully they don't get the bug again where they couldn't reinforce that. That was really awkward. I'm assuming that's why they lost that. And is that Delhi out? That is Delhi out. Okay. I'm assuming they didn't give them anything for it. Go. Champa. Siege out. 
this for some reason. I don't know why. That is, um, that is Champa's top priority, but well, that we shall never know. Okay, they can reinforce here, so. It might be some weird fort mechanic stuff, to be fair. I mean, forts in this game. <sighs> forts are more of a suggestion, especially zone of control. They, they they, all make sense in theory, but in practice, there are so many weird things going on that it's hard to see them sometimes. There's the back row for Khmer, so they can pick that fight anytime they want. Respectable general. Malaya having the same amount of fire as that general, but unfortunately their shock is what makes them strong, and shock isn't exactly good. Although, funnily enough, they have the capital to make use of that shock. Uh, well. Well, they're going economic here. Understandable. Huh. Is he actually getting rebels in Alaska? Yep. Okay, they're all in force march. I think that's because they are gearing up to go in. Are they generous here with force summit? That they are. Slacking three times as well. One more layer. Hmm. Probably do still want to build up your troops for this. At least to force them again. Another 32 stack out. Okay, they're walking in from here, interesting. First reinforcement stack is on his... Okay, we'll arrive on the fifth. Maybe force march? Yeah, that was a very weird... I was looking at that as well, they were just not moving forward. Uh, E4 machine broke. That is a weird sight to behold. Uh, I guess caught it on streamer, but that's uh, that's something. How's he gonna win that war if he can't reinforce the battles? Uh huh. I don't know why, but they genuinely are just not walking forward in. I... I have no idea why. This is the weirdest bug I've seen. Just full stop. Troops just not moving in. This, there's no fort malarkey, there was no... They just, you know, they have to go into this fort here. It's not like they went in from this province or not. I have no idea who, I'm afraid. And we do have all the players. It's not, did I just reject someone who was? I have no idea who that was. Whoever just requested a whole join request. Uh, who was that? Oh wait, is this Lysiris a sub? Sorry, wait, Lysiris, was this your sub? Which ones? Huh? Hello? Hello. Hello. Windows Windows Windows. Windows. No idea, I just had a guy who requested a hot join. I didn't recognize. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Okay, tell him to request it. Is co-op co 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 enabled though? Is co-op yeah, enabled? Because right. you can enable co-op and then he joins them after okay. you've after this. Yeah, smooth yeah. transition. Game is... Uh, lemon. Which it's setting is it for co-op, sorry? It's in options. Oh, yeah, it's in your options. options. I've gathered, but... Uh, I love how I sit there it is. Okay, sorry, I was being blind. Yep. Hey Lemon, is someone wanting to hot join? Uh, yes, it's the sub for this risk because he's off. Oh, if somebody wants to play uh, Netherlands, I gotta get going right now. Uh, well, the person that's subbing for Ottomans means that Ottomans has to go, so I'm afraid, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna stay for like a few minutes, Yeah. I, I don't. Well, uh, up to you, I'm afraid. I, if you have to get going, I... Please at least give me a heads up so I can find your sub next time. <laughs> yeah, I just I didn't know today. Mm. Well, life happens. Don't worry about it. Um, 
Mm. You stay for most uh, for the first half of the session anyway. You played your wars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just I think uh, there might be a uh, Mutapa who will look at Dutch South Africa and think, "Oh, that's a bit more free real estate now." What's happening? Uh, <laughs> 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 what? Uh, was that, was, that, was Dutch man leaving? Was that? It's uh, it's no no CB Ottomans time. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> oh, what? Uh, wait, what? My mic went crazy for a second. No CB Ottomans. <laughs> also, I'm not sure if anyone else has seen this. There's a weird bug in Khmer where. He's on a fort, he tries to reinforce the, battle, reinforce the battle on the fort, but he can't actually, his troops arrive in that battle, never. Right. What? Yep, he's trying to re reinforce the battle in command there, and his troops arrive never. So uh, I have infinity amount of troops, or what? No, 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 Malaya tries to reinforce the battle on the fort in Khmer, and his reinforcing stacks arrive never. Okay. Really? Maybe no, that is, that, that's great. Uh, that's what he gets! Whoa. Does the province have minus 100% hostile movement speed? No, because you can walk in there before the <laughs> battle it. starts. You know, to start you sieging before the, the battle <laughs> But once the battle's going and he tries <laughs> to reinforce the battle, they just time. arrive in the battle, never. So... Oh god. Anyway, uh, this uh, to, to avoid two people in the same company is quite powerful. Do you mind then dropping here now? You could just do nothing but... okay. Well, no. I just don't want, I don't want to start allowing people to secretly start in co-ops because being able to co-op micro a country as big as yours is a huge advantage. Not gonna lie, there is minus 100% hostile movement well, speed whatever. in there. But how did he walk in there the first time? I don't know. Oh god, this is a lot of problems, Mr. Core. Alright, so basically just kill Rush. Yeah, there's a surveillance right, soon, yeah. there's okay. minus 100% hostile movement speed. And take the step provinces Why first, because he gets, uh, yeah. he gets like proper yeah, percent manpower. And yeah, yeah, assault force, assaulting force is good. I I, I hotkeyed all the cannon Yeah, basically the hostiles just cannot move into the jungles, that is... That is okay, yeah. Yeah. It's rained so hard <laughs> that you can't even... You can't put anything in the water well, and just die. Well, if you think about it, it's rained so That's hard so that it's stacked with the fire from the scorched earth. To the heat of the fact that you just cannot enter the province. The troops are stuck, they just can't move. It's, it's just acid rain, rain at this point. <laughs> I mean, it's scorched like, earth with a monsoon. That does not sound like a good place to live. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. It's now... That's weird. Uh, it's it's your next week, I guess. Yeah. See, well, ya. see ya. See ya. Later, look. Alright. I'm gonna have to trust Lysteris just does nothing there. But yeah, no, that is not a bug. That is 100%. That is genuinely just 100% hostile movement speed. That is amazing. <laughs> that is actually amazing. Um, I'm going to have to tell the people for the... Uh, um, but, yeah. That's... As well. <laughs> Unfortunately, this does basically mean he has to dream stack this. Um, but he has the vampire to burn for it. But the question is, can he win a battle without reinforcements? Probably not when he's outnumbered as well. And he has not got economic ideas. He could really use economic ideas. Here. Yeah. Meanwhile, Khmer <laughs> could really use finishing offensive. I think the economic will arrive first. I'll be five percent just an advantage for um, Malaya, especially if um, Khmer is forced to instead of doing their ideas slack in recruitment and um, high generals too slack in wisdom. Either way, that'll be interesting. Nice, interesting to see also that Delhi dropped Khmer without a second thought really there. Oh, there's the Doom stack. Ah, the extreme monsoon, monsoon has ended, so they can actually reinforce that. Understandable. Yep. Yeah. Okay, the extreme monsoon has ended. Yep. Yeah. The extreme monsoon has ended, so you can actually reinforce that now. Um, if anyone was wondering, so. Yeah. It's a combination of Scorching or Earth and the extreme monsoon that was causing all of those issues. Well, 
Now we shall see. Can he win that even with the... Uh... Can he win that now that he can reinforce? Oh god, no, he is not trusting that. He is the back in a hundred. How much is he losing to attrition here? Uh, not enough. 51 k I like how quite a few of these are mercs as well. Also behind the manufacturers institution wasted, they did spawn the Ottoman spawn manufacturers and global trade, Jesus Christ. I think quite a few people can spawn enlightenment and industrialization as well, but I doubt we would get to industrialization. Come there. Immediately on force march, getting ready for that battle. Burn up another snack, another day, another stack. Are they gonna blast down the boss here as well? Probably if they can only win the battle. Is the uh, gamble here? Oh, that's not what I meant to press. But so far, no battle. <clears throat> God. The issue is, is that Malay does have, I think. It, the deck stacks somewhat in their favour, but because of that hostile movement speed earlier, and the server stacking they did from the get go. Yeah, mm. they rolled a wall's breach, that's quite lucky for them. Means they can breach walls again. Uh, but yeah. Issue is, if it just decides to rain again. Oh no, it rained again. They can't reinforce this, it, ju it just rained again. Yeah, there's severe monsoon, it just rained again, they can't reinforce this. Oh no. They're gonna have to wait until the severe one soon as over. If they have any plans of doing that. Here's a level six four. God the attrition there as well. Absolutely insane attrition. Oh, and Ottomans and Russia going in for round two. Unfortunately, I think that's uh, that's it for the Russians here. Hmm. Russians still put up more than enough of a fight, but Ottomans now conceding with clearly enough manpower to do with deal with it. An economy, Jesus Christ, what an economy! But Russia will have enough. Power for days. God. Fortunately, I think that is it here for the Russians. Then they're going to reinforce. They're not going to reinforce that in time. Nope, they're not going to reinforce that. So that's going to be then a sequel for the thirty-six k. That's. Yep, 10 to 1. Oh, never mind, not a 10. I should have been 10 to 1 either way, that's... No back row there, yep. Wipe. Hmm. Looking good for Russia again. But at least, hey, they took Moscow back. Or be it very temporarily until the Ottomans march 100 million into there. God. Millions of I dead. For what? Just a couple? All land adjustments, making World of One look like a casual. Oh no, can they can they actually reinforce that here? They can't, it's a severe monsoon. Oh. Somehow they are reinforcing this. But the severe monsoon. Nope. 
And now they caught their enforcement stacks. That's the issue. Because of the rain, they can't actually advance into command. That has to be the dumb. That has to be the most genius and the dumbest mechanic at the same time. They're able to hold off because a severe monsoon is scorching the earth. And they're keeping that earth nice and scorched. Well, the monsoon's over, they can reinforce now, but. No chance of getting that siege over unless they uh, assault in time. What is Zorak doing? They've kind of been, mostly just been sitting here. Hmm. Could be time for them to take an opportunity to maybe take a bite out of Russia to get rid of this. Maybe take a bite into Khmer as well. Oh, that we shall see. Oh, rip the holdings over here. How is the Ottoman destruction of Russia going? Well, for the Ottomans, unfortunately. More kindling to the Ottoman fires. So much in fact, I'll be honest, that sounds like Japanese history from like World War II, which I should be way more aware than I actually am. What is Japan up to, actually, saying that? Mm, respectable economy now, really doing a lot better, idea wise. Gone naval, naval, marit naval maritime. Something tells me that Japan may be considering a piratical kind of existence, but yeah. Now that is, that basically, it's, it's a severe monsoon stacked with, uh, stacked with scorched turf, so you get minus 100% hostile movement speed, which means they just can't reinforce the battle. It's the most beautiful and dumbest thing I think I've seen so far. Because it's not a bug, it's actually working completely as intended, but they need to nerf severe monsoons from giving you minus 50% movement speed, you know. It's just to be able to move it, even if it takes a couple decades. Well, ironically enough, I think Malay's best bet is to just ignore this fort, land here with their navy. And once they land, use the landing to grab a couple stacks of mercs and grab more land, and while doing so, fire their main troops over. Because they're not going to be able to go through here. Just, no. At any point, they roll a magical button for severe monsoon, and that's it. The, the armies on this, on this province here are stuck. Either way, how are the Russians doing? Oh, well, Battle of Moscow is here. And from initial reinforcements, the way those look, not looking, uh... Oh, okay, Ottomans do actually get beaten back here, but... Will they reinforce this? They are looking like it. Also looking like they're engaging with the British favourite activity of overstacking. Yep. There they have. The Ottomans are engaging in this squad as well. Although two, no, they, this is absolutely fine. They still have uh, a couple. They have this still to uh, reinforce with. And have they? Is this all Streltsy? Tells me that's all Streltsy. No, it's just majority Streltsy. Okay. Uh, full back row for the Ottomans here. Yep. No back row for the Russians here. And then they can reinforce this. Yep. Yeah. Ottomans can just put 600k into a battle, no problem. Very little Russia can do about that, even if they have 2 million in reserves. Their economy is kind of dying now, because uh, they're trying to pay 100 ducats a month for both reinforcements. And we have an out of sync. You'll love to see it. We're going to have to ask for a re host from that, though. Because it's a very major war. Mm. I think it's, it's not even a bug. I think that's working as intentional, but yeah. Uh, rehost, I think, because All right. if he rejoins, you will just have the same issue again. We're going to have to rehost. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to rehost, I'm afraid. Out of sync. No, we Mingi. don't. Who is that? Uh, Ottoman guy. Pretty sure Ottoman's AI can beat Russia. Just let it go. <sighs> You know what, there's some there are some times where I feel like maybe listening to your device is not the best idea. I might have, yeah. I'm gonna to you like my, do you like how my borders are coming together? I'd like Ryan? to say, I think this is the first time you ever had, I'm going to play, you know, what was the time when you were playing in Persia and you were going to kill, like, Palatinate, you had Palatinate killing your name, etc, etc, etc. 
You always have like this well, guy that annoys I would have you done in their it name. In... That you're gonna kill. I would have and I think it's the first actually. time you've done it. This is the first time you've actually would... killed someone you had as a killer well, name. No, because every other time they die before I can get to them. It's exactly, like, but you never managed to kill them. They died due to natural causes. Well, it's That's gonna nice. happen. Well, to be to be fair, I'm not. I'm only taking half of South America from him. My main goal is to just have the Western Roman Empire and fix everything. Ah, uh, so you're gonna take um, the Netherlands and the British then? No. Oh. That's part of the Western Roman Empire. Well, you know, depends on what year it was. Didn't even have it every year. They had it some years. Well, you know, we're thinking greatest extent, right? Why go? Why settle for? Oh, so I should eat the Ottomans too and click that button that turns me purple. Yes, hundred uh, percent. I got a lot of Moroccan and Spanish land to fix. I mean, it'll be fixed until the end of the campaign at this rate, though. But hey ho, that's not yeah. the judge. Well, I want to see I will Ottomans. Be. I'm not. I'm not planning on fighting them, and like I'm set up for a good defensive war against them. I'm not planning on invading them. There's no point. I don't like. I have enough merchants to pull from Constantinople or anything. I just don't want you to like be buddy buddies until the end of the session. Never actually fight I'm each other. Buddy buddies. He can attack me if he wants. I know, but you're both you you're both not just attack each other. It's just staring at each other. He could have attacked me. Well, he okay. can say the same about you. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it's a fucking <laughs> cold war. Like, what? Mm. why would I attack him when I'm probably going to lose? Mm. He has, like, Damn. two or three times my force limit, double my income. The fuck mm. would I attack him for? That's literally the definition of cold war. Like, mm. I'm going to sit here and he can uh, invade my 20 or 30 level 6 forts. Good luck. Hmm. Far enough. All in mountains. <laughs> Couple are in forests, to be fair. Oh, I still got the, still have the roll, so he can he can do that if he wants. I still have AI to eat. I still have land to dev. I don't like. I'm already horrendously over my gov cap, so. Hmm. I mean, gov I cap don't... is just a number anyway. It mostly gets you all. advisor costs is the only painful one there I find. You can go yeah, with gov I... cap. Like AE yeah, I, doesn't. I, work, I, so I, I am. I, I I understand this. I'm just. I don't have the the points right now to do all this stuff. Hmm. Fair enough. I one, once I get everything co full cord, I'm going to do another 40k in debt and build up. But like I did before. But until then, I just gonna chill. Like I've been doing more concrete. I've been expanding more than I'd like to. But I need to clean up these borders because I don't want Portugal to keep dubbing their nation inefficiently. Oh, rather let Portugal dev their nation than have to dev yourself, right? The AI dev'd a lot of it, and then the player also dev'd it poorly. So, like, it's all it's all stuff that should be mill dev, but it's all diplo dev, just fucking annoying. At least it's not tax dev. Yeah. Well, some. The, at least tax dev you can understand because you're like, oh, I have nowhere to put these points or I'm going to sink it here, but diplo dev is like you literally could have diplo dev better provinces than that. Like, admin dev is just like, fuck, fuck I don't know where to, to dev, I'll dev here. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, I mean, it's not like AI. Sometimes you may AI like... AI, when they... Most of the time they don't dev to be fair, but I've seen AIs dev like 25 admin. Yeah. And like, why? Is everyone here? No. Well, this is quite a few. This is quite a few. It's a rehost, so it takes a decade. Unfortunately, but yeah. Ottomans, Westphalia, Germany, and yeah. Peru. Austria, Peru. Portugal, Spain. Oh, it's. Uh, you... My. My wish for this session is that Ottomans cleans up their stupid little, like, Yazd, Shanmar, Sharja. I want them to clean up, why did they just take uh, Moscow? Just, no. Just, I don't know, it's... 
why I don't know why you would do that because you, you like uh, if like this is I guess me I would just take it off Ostracon because the borders are better you don't get anything from taking Moscow no you just like the flex of how I have Moscow you also don't take get, get anything from taking Krakow Kiev like you you take Astrakhan snake Samarkand in Siberia from him but otherwise like there's no point I'm actually pretty sure you lose more than from that land than you gain. Oh, like, I guess it's or... more of a depriving that land from Russia, if anything. But because yeah, I mean, but Russia... is great power number one. It, he doesn't need to keep gaining himself. As long as he knocks the other people that threaten him down, he'll be fine. Oh no, is that me next? <laughs> I don't know. You're you're a bit awkward to knock down and. Uh... Ottomans have been somewhat conservative in their knocking capabilities so far. Well, see, it's easier to invade someone with a bunch of flatland and north forts. I mean, Russia had a huge amount of forts, to be fair, but yeah, Ottomans but it's just fucking assaulted. Flatland. Yeah, it's all flatland. Russian assaulted, yeah. Make sure they make sure they oh, do a can world. You a, can you get a Netherlands sub? Ah. Uh, Kind of dumb. They're not here. Probably I don't they know why it's quick. Ask. You could ask had... general if anyone wants to join. No, him. general. Would that be... never works. You gotta ask, ask somebody you actually know. Ah, uh, who can I drag in the last five seconds? It would be uh, nice to have someone on there. Understandable. Cause... All right. Uh, God, looking through my very limited list of E4 players that I know that are not in the game right now. Who are also have to be online? All right. Would be also interesting as a statistic to see where most of the players are anyway, from. I am like. Gonna Ping them just in a grand campaign chat, otherwise I'm going to start. I know it's a bit dumb, but if you want to sub, please don't. And some guys Apparently left, amazing. Thing called a girlfriend? Terrible There's some holiday. Well, then why did he shop for the first two hours? Jesus Christ. I think she said something about he was. she was sad. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she should have subbed for him then, for fuck's sake. She should have stopped for him. All right. Well, I mean, to be f in in my defense, I don't like you know. Please give me some kind of warning before you tell me to find subs. Well, in my defense, the previous statement is not on board. <laughs> but yeah, uh -huh. I I have nothing further to say. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. I. I can't pull subs out of my ass, unfortunately. I wish I could. Really? <laughs> That's the dream. Yeah. Uh, well, what's the worst that can happen to Netherlands? Right? No one's gonna kill Netherlands, right? No one has any bone to pick with the Netherlands, but... Can I mic that back? I cannot mic that back. Are they going to go in for round two? Looks like they are. <laughs> okay, they're just acting. Oh, for... Beautiful. Who's Ghost Man? Japan is Ghost Man. Yep. Fair pause. God, you'd love to see it. Are we not paused? I thought we paused. We are paused, we are paused.
Uh, hot join request is what I'm going to need. Hello, you're still not in the game for me, I'm afraid, Japan. Wait, sorry? You're still not in the game for me, I'm afraid, Japan. There we go. You are now. Yeah, um, the fucking AI debase my... They do that anyway, because the AI look at... Oh, and we're zero, we're zero corruption, we're losing corruption, so we need to debase so that we're not wasting the losing corruption. They always do that. It's big brain time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, just some hit from that? Nah, I don't care. Uh, extra monarch point costs? Nah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna have to spend a lot of money getting rid of it now. Like, more than this gave me. Oh, of course. But AI is AI. What do you, what do you think of California, Lemon? I mean, it's not in California anymore, is it? <laughs> I think that would help we'll have a guy. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Uruguay would be, um, um, yeah. Fun times. Hmm. I mean, you've done very well beating back GB on yourself, but yeah. Unfortunately, uh, GB, there is you be able to beat back GB because GB's basically gone colonial idea, you know, not colonial ideas. Eh, GB has mm -hmm. gone colonial ideas, they've got no real military ideas. Meanwhile, France is, well, an actual military. Yeah, the yeah, French are um, fun. So. You know. All of this, did they even have the colonial reign? I guess they did if they took the province from the Netherlands. Damn it, I blame the Netherlands for all of this. <laughs> yep. How long does it take like our... to let us say for? Long. Like, we were like, wonder what that fake war was about. And then a few months later, oh dang, I just scrolled down and 300k French. I mean, the French are just kind of naturally occurring promises sometimes. That's kind of how they work, you know? But the problem is we had su such a good time in the new world. Every time just being defensive, you know? We we haven't been on the on the attacking side at all, and then, well, it like happened. We can't have <laughs> we should be able to attack colonies, Limit. We should be able to! Nah. <laughs> The issue is if you're able to attack colonies, then that strategy is way too powerful. Because you can just attack yes. the colonies. And there's no point for Britain ever colonizing, is there? Because you'll just get your colonies murdered. But we can't, it's not like we can attack Britain either. Not when France is defender of the Protestant faith. Oh, well, yeah, that's what's keep, you know, that's what makes that balanced. <laughs> you know, imagine if you're on the receiving end of that. Yourself. You had all these colonies that you were losing because... I don't have to imagine it, Lemon. <laughs> I don't have to use my imagination. Okay, my point is, is, you know, what's the point of you ever colonizing if all your colonizations you ever get are just lost on the spot because you can't defend yeah. them? Just go be a colonial nation yourself. Go have... Britain should go become the United States. Maybe if he joins us in the new world, we'll be more forgiving towards him. You say that after you've annexed most of the continental United States. That, yep. that, those were wars he started, Lemon. <laughs> Understandable. And I commend you for it, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't think he can exodus to the Americas at any point at this now. Yeah, exodus to the United States, Britain. Listen to us. Exodus to the United States. Yeah, let's do the most powerful uh, team. We'll forgive <laughs> If you come, you come to the New World, help us fight the French, and we'll forgive you. Mm. There's still time. There's still time, GB. There's still time for redemption. Uh, there is always time for redemption. But with that, I will leave you. So enjoy it, and call me if there's any right. issues, I guess. Ah, oh, you will anyway. Right. right. <sighs> Are we good to go? I'm assuming so. Two playables as always, so...
What a session looking like. It's still got an hour to go. Right. Are they gonna go in against the extreme ones? They are. That's the 140k death stack. They are not messing it around now. <laughs> God. Bit of a rip on their estates, but they are. <laughs> They're not messing around now. Yep, extreme moon suit. Yep, rip. <laughs> they squashed all of this as well. Oh, no. They're gonna have to navally invade. There's no way they can actually attack that with extreme moon suits. Zero way. They have to navally invade, basically. Oh, yeah, Portugal. Fair enough. Interesting to see what AI Netherlands does. I'm assuming popping their golden age is one of the things. Somehow they've really messed up their trade all of a sudden, let me guess, because... Of course they have. Okay. Hopefully not deleting any forts. And weird stacks are not painful or either drilling. Good decent generals. Oh no, hopefully they didn't pick an idea group for them. That would be awkward. Um, right, how's the Ottomans Russian thing going? Why well, they're resieging Moscow? Russia preparing for more battles, but god. Right, well there goes Moscow. So either they fight them on that fort there or not. No, never mind, it's the, uh, it's the Ottomans that's going to pick the fight. Is that a back row? That's most of a back row. That's about as good as back row the British, uh, as the Russians are currently get. That's, this is all infantry streltsy, understandable. This is more infantry, this is more streltsy. They're feeding that in. Their grid general's gone as well, unfortunately for them. Are they going to go against that back row here? That is a full back row as well. Hmm. Oh, either way, it looks like they're reinforcing properly. Both ends. Okay, Russia is overstacking the top there. Oh well. Uh. Top stack. Uh, they can reinforce as necessary. There'll be a lot of dead Ottomans for this as well. Oh well. The Ottomans have manpower to burn. If anything, it's in Russia's favour to trade with the Ottomans one for one manpower wise. Because then that means they get weakened, so potentially more of an incentive to other people to dow on the Ottomans themselves. Very well done reinforcement wise, but here I think they are going to break through and the Ottomans still have way more troops in reserve. Yeah. You're going to march into the top fort there. But that is broken, okay, that should not probably be reinforced. Okay, a bit of an overstack and reinforcement, but yeah. Ottomans are starting to melt on the front lines, but. Yep. Russia's starting to disappear, yep. Yeah, that's it. And Russia does not have a back row here. These are all just units sitting here taking hits. Ottomans not with a full back row either, and some cannons on the front row, oh dear. A two in the front row is never a good sign, but... They'll get away with it here, yep. They do get away with it here. That stag's been caught, yep, okay, Ottomans just running them down here. 
Not much to watch, unfortunately. Just Ottomans being Ottomans. A slaughter after a slaughter. How is this going? Well, the monsoon's over. They can probably try round two of that. But, again, I saw myself probably be going for a naval invasion. Maybe like up here or somewhere they would spot. Or here or here. Anyway, that'll be interesting to see how they go. What they go for? Because, uh, yeah, sticking there. What is that wiggle? Are you tired? Ooh. Well, that's awkward. We're not going to rehost for that. Um. See what. Oh, we're uh, not rehosting for that again. I'm afraid you have to leave and try No, to I think we might up. need to find another sub for autos. Well, I don't have anyone, I'm afraid, so. Oof. Uh, as in, I saved the barrel getting a, a sub for Russia last second, and I was just well, on the sub for. I'm at, I'm at plus fifty, so I guess I can just send a peace deal before I crash. Uh, I mean, you can, but if you want to enforce it, you have to send ten war score. I was uh, wasn't it what? times two or no? Oh. Minus 50, okay, yeah. No, minus 50, yeah. <laughs> the Ottomans minus can now enforce 4% war score. Hard. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, okay, I'll just send a piece to you for. You're out of sync, so you won't actually. I don't know if, how the piece will work. Yeah, I will tell you if uh, the piece deal goes through. If it doesn't, then let's. Wait, know, so, like, yeah, 52 war score, I'm allowed 2 war score? Uh, four war score. Minus 50 four times wars. two. Oh. So at 100% yeah. war score, minus 50 is 50 Sorry. times two is 100. That's not even a single balance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> four war score worth of money. Yeah. Minus uh, Lothar's can finish this off later. I mean, that wow, that's 1,182 ducats. <laughs> it's still yeah. a lot. It's still uh, a lot, right? Have to send a war. I'm gonna tell Lucas. I'm gonna have to send a war score for four. Four score. Hey, you can I'm... sort provinces by war score. That should be. Yeah, but if I crash. You have already crashed. For the record. Yeah, are we rehosting or. No, we're I, just gonna no. send a pistol and then we're gonna have any items. You can take bearers off and that's about it. That's all you can afford. I'll just keep fighting because Lithra says I'm, he's coming back if I crash. Okay, uh, Lithra's just saying that he just wants you to brain dead me if I crash and he'll come back. Okay. Alright, so we can just keep going. Uh, well, you're no longer in sync, so. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be messy. Enjoy that. I don't know how well that'll go for you. I said, I know that'll go for you terribly. Um, Alright. Yeah. Best of luck with that. I'd just like to point out that he. Ottomans have so much aggressive expansion that even I can enter a coalition against them. <laughs> yeah, do. So... Do it. I'm like the only nation that You won't. Sure. He can't yeah. doubt you anyway. You're in a coalition against me. It's not a valid set past this anyway. Form a coalition. I have formed the coalition. coalition. Russia has 995 AE with you. I think it isn't a thousand a cap. Maybe anyone who wants to join the coalition, we don't hurt you. Russia is sure, at AE cap with the Ottomans. We yep. call it friends. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone can join the coalition. Oh god, I'm getting the bug where a battle repeats over and over. That means the battle's um, not going, I think. So, Yuan, I don't know if you... It's you Yuan is here, right? Well, you can now demand 10 wolves for us in land, but... I'm joining the... I can? It well, still says I have 51. Yeah, 54 now. You are out of sync, so this is a terrible idea. Yeah, Lithuania, you should just come back. <laughs> You're also getting slaughtered by the Russians right now. Yeah, no, I can see that. I noticed I got uh, wiped. Okay, I think that battle ended. Yeah. Now I see I have 56, okay. No, you have 55, actually. Alright, Lithuania, just come back. <laughs> Anyone hear me? Well, it is the last yeah, third for the, the, but yeah. 
Anybody it's been a half hour it lasted. Hmm. Hello? Hello. Uh, I can hear you, Lothris. Okay. It only took me like, what, five minutes of saying hello? No, I've okay. heard you all the time, but I actually you're kind of quiet. Time. For the first time, yeah, I think you might have to just leave and let this just come back because you keep dissing. I don't want to keep rehosting. Yeah, my game just crashed, so I gotta relaunch. Oh. Fair enough. You've fallen for my trap card. Actually, that wasn't my trap card. I'm still in love with the fact that poor uh, Malaya can't invade Khmer because they've scorched Earth and Severe Monsoon, so they get minus 100% hostile movement speed. So they oh, can't... the Monsoon is back! It's always <laughs> there. It's been, a, it's been a consistent Severe Monsoon since, like, the start of the... <laughs> Is one weakness rain? Mm. <laughs> you see, what, if they only just got these rains down in Africa, they'd be a lot better, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. Africa mm. doesn't need rain. Come on. Uh, I mean, I think someone needs to bless the rains there. Though. I think that'd be a lot better. What is it good for? Someone yeah. needs to bless the rains down in Africa. There we go. Mm. Oh, what a Reddit post that was when they covered Lorraine, put Lorraine in charge of Africa. That was a nice one. The rain down in Should have done a one face as well, yeah. so they would have been a blessed the rain down in Africa. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been pretty nice. I mean, if it's Let's possible, go. Lemon, if it's possible, try next uh, game to increase the quality, the, the bits of your video, of the stream. Because, like, I have it at HD, 780p, full screen on my monitor. It's getting bad. Oh, dear. The thing is, I'm yeah, also right now right. recording. Yeah, I can well, barely... See the numbers. That's terrible. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll look into the numbers. Yeah, I need what? some help here, Lothris. I can't tell what's going on. I'm joining. I have something to request. Yep. Yeah. I'll look at the numbers. If I can. Yep. Yeah, please, sec one. Wait. One second. Please wait. Uh, uh, there we go. Also, Lemon, please choose better music for your cat videos. It's <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting so much. Some people like it, some people hate it. I, I haven't done the intro. I haven't done the intro again. The intro was pretty universal. It's like, but I've got the good feedback for the background one. <sighs> well, we're at plus 61, I guess. By, I'll, keep, I'll keep looking for way, one that, like, until it works to everyone, I guess. By the way, Lutheris, I fucking hate you because I've asked you when, uh, if you want to declare war this session. And I was about to start eating, if you didn't. Oh, really? <laughs> yes! I got a 10% discipline event, I didn't have a choice. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, 10% discipline event. Uh, yeah, that's... that's Where's the valid excuse? I got a 10% discipline event on GB yesterday, actually, but I was in the middle of the war. And, uh, so it wasn't enough to win the war, though? <laughs> well, it was enough to stack white Poland several times, and Prussia. But they were for yeah. access to them. But we couldn't get any more troops over to Scandinavia. I we literally got a de stack wipe uh, crossing the strait into Denmark. It's great. It sounds glorious. Yeah, they basically. I had like a, uh, I'm playing GB, is I had gone. Norway and, and uh, yeah, co-op is on because I, just, I um I I just have it. I can't choose. So I can't choose that. Yeah, I just left. Yeah. Um, so I did turn it off. But yeah, basically I had, uh, I had Norway and Denmark declared war on Spain, which called in, like, France and Just give me a second. It was no, just no, hiding in jail. Check where my armies are. I think they oh, might God, be look. retreating. I couldn't move them. Yeah, he was out of sync. He moved the army. Playing, so. Oh, no. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah, they all retreated and, uh, Russia's occupying the back. Well, either way, uh, yeah, I was like, why so they couldn't get any work done, but yeah. And yeah, I will have to touch that bit right up a bit because I see now myself it's starting to get it's starting to dip quite something fierce. Well, that's fortunate, but yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up that bit right. I do agree that's getting pretty bad. Almost I put it up on the gonna have a second monitor what I'm on about a second time.
And um, yeah, that was not nice. Uh, I think I think it's fixed in either YouTube or OBS. One of the two will have it. So I'll look around and see until that's fixed. All right. I am also giving uh, Mistress time to uh, sort out his country in terms of uh, what his what his troops are doing. Because unfortunately, him being gone means yep, very much in the retreat. Oh, he's starting to yeah, fort this area up in the event of uh, France invent intervention. And there goes either the loans or the troops. Yeah, there goes the troops. How is this going for me there? Well, the monsoon's gone. So they got that going for themselves. Fortunately, that occupation is a bit awkward, but the monsoon is gone. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna go back in there and um, wait until I get the heads up of yep, we can go. Hello, so I'm just gonna wait here until I get the heads up of yep, you well, can no, go. Well, no, I left AI the hot zone, so there shouldn't have been an opportunity for AI to control the country. Yeah, AI apparently deleted half my army or something. I doubt it. I, didn't I only have I 1 looking at it. million I left with 1.8 million. That was a desync, I'm pretty sure, because as soon as you were desynced, you started losing stacks upon stacks to the Russians. That is stupid. Well, desync is yeah, desync, that's why I said don't play with a desync. But, yeah, well, that's on I didn't insist, I said, no, that was, I said brain dead. I was just playing until Lithers could get here. Okay. That's on pause, come on. I mean, I have yeah, Lithers. Yeah. That's on pause. On pause, sorry? On pause. Yeah, we can. We're back off. I was waiting for the heads up to pause. But yeah, no. <sighs> best luck with that. Alright, yeah, no, that's the best. Don't, that's why I would normally insist a bit more on the uh, last things, but they said, sure, let's keep going. To this respect, but yeah. Mm. Russia gets a breather here to get their front line back. Um, but Ottoman's still, I mean, just... They can throw together a stack in the space of all the five seconds. Hey, Russia trying to get his fort back. Yep, Russia almost everywhere getting their occupations back. Ironic way for them to turn the wall back for them, but yeah. Long term wise, no, the ultimate income is still. Yep, you can tell by this swarm of men being built that, yeah. Ottomans are not going to take this line down. the way while the while the rebuilding stage is going on over there how is this going on for them still just a mexican standoff they know they don't want to go in here because at any point they can have a big monsoon and then their entire army is trapped and scorched to us monsoon but at the same time if they can walk into this province before Khmer can walk in there and scorch it earth, scorch earth they they're gonna be good If they can, if they can walk in here and scorch earth this well after this runs out, I think they'll be able to hold it actually, because this scorched earth runs out in November. Yeah. So. And this hasn't been scorched earth. So actually, if they can, they can walk through here, here, and here to their, do their reinforcement stacks. Right. Well, there's another second major battle. Ottomans want to fight that? It doesn't seem like they do. I think it's because their enforcement is very dodgy with Ludnik being a fort in the way. And Russia being in a bit better position to enforce. So they are beating the Russians back from this fort at the least, so they're keeping control of some of their occupations, so not a complete reset. Russia definitely wants to push their advantage, but I don't think it's going to be enough for them. That war exhaustion is definitely something to take up, and they were fighting this over their land. So, yeah. 84% land for Boyars is insane with increased levels. 84% national manpower is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But yeah. 
Oh, Japan. Going in on Russia for Korea. There we go. Brandy calls in California. He, he just had a war with it on a cleaner. The thing is, does Russia have anything resembling an army in this area? The answer is a very clear no. No, it does not. Um, What else does peace do? Yeah, they just accepted. Fair enough. Yeah, that's that's the liberation of Korea back for the Japanese. So it means they have their nice nice fort to hold in the mountains in case Horat ever comes knocking. Which to be fair is not a uh, impossible possibility. Although to be fair they are guaranteeing Japan, so they're not with Japan, so that's not they're fighting back then. It's more of a securing their own trade no deal. Understandable of course. Can't take the dip for a notiness, although they really don't have any notiness to speak of anyway. They've rebuilt the land. Yep. They've rebuilt the land. It's quite funny, the Khmer's method of defending is just burning their own land so they can't move into it because of their extreme monsoons, which, yep, there's a severe monsoon. So this will arrive never. This stack will arrive in here never, because there's severe monsoon here. This province has not been burned, and these two provinces have not been burned. So actually, you can take these two. These two you can control, but unfortunately this stack will be moving here forever, because of an extreme monsoon. So yeah, Malaya, they can yeah they can take these two, and then they can try and work with these two into here, into extreme monsoon, but... God. What a mess. Khmer's entire mess of defense is making sure the land here stays scorched. Well, I guess there's been worse ways to, uh, to defend before. Three star general, three star general as always. Hmm. Will this be enough? That is a real question. Seem to be yes. Yeah, no, Ottomans very quickly discovered back their front line. I think they just they didn't lose too many sieges here. They never had the siege, for example, in the first place. So. Oh no, sorry, they did have this siege, but that would be the end of the world for them to retake it. Twenty-five k manpower a month is something absolutely absurd, but that's what the Ottomans do. Especially if you look at this land here. So local religious unity doesn't matter for them, they're fact it's orthodox, but 30% manpower because it's under demi. And high demi tax is 15% tax, it's just... All the wrong religion, wrong culture provinces, the Ottomans are so good for them. Because of the demi. Way too disproportionately so, even. Hmm. Well, I still want to see what Khmer does out of this. Are they still infinitely marching? No. Well, as soon as they're over, they can walk into here. Oh, they've scorched here as well now. Hmm. I think, yeah, they can't get more school. Yep, you can't do this because of machine mechanics. Basically, you have to um, you have to like a hundred million to test stack or navally invade. You basically have to navally invade. I I do agree with you. One soon as caution us is way too broken. Oh. Real life Vietnam can't take it. 
I'm guessing I'm going to get a call for bans and then we're going to have a long, nice debate over whether this should be allowed in the future or not. But yeah. Khmer will defend forever because of the monsoon. I mean, it shouldn't be a severe monsoon every time, but it seems to be so consistently a severe monsoon. This promise is no longer a scorched earth, so maybe if he moves in here before it's scorched. If he takes this before it's scorched, he might be able to hold this ad in turn him, because it's not scorched. And then he can actually start making progress here, to be fair. Can he get in here in time? I think he can. He just needs to not scorch the earth here. He will be good. Okay. So he can start holding this. He needs to not scorch this. If he could have gone onto that when it was pre-scorched as well, that would have been it for him, but... <laughs> okay, so some monsoon now. As soon as that monsoon is over, he can march in there, blast the walls, and hopefully get it. I mean, it happens every year, six months, I think, so... Yeah, I think you have to naval invade, I'm afraid. Well, how are the Ottomans doing? Yep, yeah, Ottomans. Taking the steamroller back, yep. Russia very much on the back foot here, and not long for this world. Ottomans could be first to milk to Admin Tech 22. A bit worried for the Netherlands picking up Admin Tech 22, funnily enough. Um, but they seem quite far away from it, so it should be fine, I hope. At least, the later they pick it up, the later they mess up the idea choices. Uh oh. I think that might be 60k dead here. And that's the milk stack. Yep, dead here. Caught by them. Unfortunate. Great general, but... Generals won't win you war, I'm afraid. They can only help you. And there's no, no saving Russia here. There's no saving Russia here. Ah, oh, France getting occupied by Portugal. How oh, dare they? To point out, Fazan still exists as a subject of Ottomans, and no one has bothered to eat Tunis with Fazan yet. That's unconditional, yep. Interesting to see what they take here. Hopefully not another like huge cut through the Russian land. They can't make any cuts, but I'm assuming they just take like a slice of their um, of their manpower rich uh, step. But yeah, it's Russia unconditional. And Japan and you are looking way too similar to each other. <laughs> Let's see the peace deal. There's the peace deal. Oh, this is unsatified land that should be called, which is not. Understandable. Economy is still good enough to keep up with the economic hegemon, yep. You've seen that he go from military hegemon. Yeah. 
Yeah, peace is over. Right, is my lair gonna make progress? Probably not doing a severe monsoon, but. I think as soon as that's over, they just go in. Hmm. I actually have gold here. Nice. I managed to click on a bikeson, but yeah. Now you're in golf fleets. Mm. I do want to see what they do here. I think they're just waiting for the Munson out. Be understandable. This is safe for them because they have they've uh, this is not uh, been scorched us, so they have this province to work off, and this one as well now. And there's the end of the Syria Monsoon, so now they can go in. They can actually go in here. Syria Monsoon is over. And they squished us anything else, and they have not. Okay. They can go into here now. Whether they will or they should, is it going to make matter entirely? Oh, they are death stacking. Yep. Are they going to put 182k on it? Oh my lord, okay. They are... <laughs> they have a quarter of a million march into this poor province. Is that going to be enough there? Because I think American. With proper reinforcements, maybe? Ooh, that's a hard maybe. They haven't been getting their offensive ideas filled out, but I think. Well, they, uh, they are very close to getting that 5% more disciplines. And uh, this is just observa observers. Today we'll see why a battle of reinfo why reinforcing is important, hopefully. Still no see them soon, so they might be able to get a stack up in here just with a gamble they might reinforce. But yeah. Forge defense in here is quite respectable. All the Malayan feature but all water shortage. And war's already breached. Commander's on a timer here, they have to they have to pick whether they Okay, they're moving in. We get our battle. Get us commercial perspective because they have to actually do the reinforcing. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, already tight, but. Taking all this morale damage in the reserves is the issue. If we look at the reserve, morale of the reserves, they, they keep dipping. Well, the morale of their actual reserves here, not in the battle, is staying consistently high. If we look, their morale is still 5.3. So they're just going to be able to out-morale them, even if well, they out murders them. And that's why reinforcing is so important. And that's why, again, they're going to need to lead the naval invade. They can't make progress here. Oh, yeah, my last front. Like, yep, yep, yep. And they're gonna lose this province now, which means they're probably gonna be scorched out. Yeah. How far are they retreating? Oh, all the way back home. Okay, they may want to murk up here real quick to hold on to this province, or do they? Doubt they'll be able to because they can just move in. That's really unfortunate.
Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about that. That is very BS. Not sure what to do with it. No. But yeah, no, Jesus Christ, that was uh, not fun in games for anyone involved. Um, and now the sponsor is gone, so they can burn it. So yes, him and soon there's uh, just yeah, losing progress every day of the week. They have to navally invade if they actually have one want a chance of winning this. I'm afraid. But uh, naval invaders, naval invasion is kind of suicide when their entire army is here as well. So they have to naval invade and immediately pop down 50 billion mercs in the province as soon as they capture it. I mean, it's a lot easier said than done. Because where, where would you land? Maybe here or here. You want somewhere far away from them. And this is a very fortified country, even. Because even if you land, even if you stack 5 billion mercs, so you're just going to get, well, stacked upon again like that. You'll be in a stack, you'll be taking morale damage in reserves, they will not be taking morale damage in their reserves, and they'll win on morale. Hmm. Either way, dear god. Um let's and have a transport navy. They do have two transport navies, I think they are gonna go for a naval invasion. Their light ships are even involved. Um, this is just transports. Their heavy fleet is needs an upgrade, funnily enough, but yeah, it's there in case the British come knocking, I think. But the British have to be very careful to come knocking because they're now the guarantee in the independence of Morocco. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Yeah, they embraced them. But well, there's the button they get to press for um which they already have pressed five percent more discipline. Yep. Up to 120, that's gonna be tough for any kind of mission. God. Yeah, I can kind of see the course of balance mods and why. Especially with ideas being so such a meta for ideas speed quality econ. Not even paying for them, troops. God. That's the thing, they kind of say, they know that Khmer in an actual fair fight will lose here. Khmer is basically living because they're able to um, get away with the monsoon scorched earth stuff. That's what's keeping them alive. And while the fellow Yuan hasn't decided to do anything about them yet. And oh, that would do it too. How, what is Yuan's trade actually? I'm interested they are. Doing it all, yeah. All going to human. And all the China going there. Understandable. No other player was, so, yeah. Oh, well, that's basically on a break. How are the countries in? Peru has basically become Mexico plus. Migrating to their main core land being Mexico now. Still not integrating this poor subject here. Not sure why. I guess they're keeping their own as a friend. Oh, they're never going to integrate them because that's so much AE. Um. But yeah, super keeping a couple of natives around, most, mostly for fun, I guess. Um, not sure why they're not being there. Liberated, but hey, that's not for me to know. 
California doing better by the day. A much more set up a force limit now, a much stronger economy. And let me guess, California node, yep. Only making 10 ducats a month there, but still. Not too trivial. Unfortunately, California's an awkward node. It's the kind of node that everything goes, it's literally a starting node, and it goes to everywhere. Half of it does go to the Mississippi, unfortunately, when it gets nicked by the British. <laughs> but hey, huh? Well, it's not a, just water, it's a water and fire combination, because the water is actually on fire because the, the earth has been scorched. I didn't know that was a thing either, but it's a thing. I literally didn't know. Yeah, Japan, Japan also had this problem, I think. <laughs> but that was more an invasion of Korea. Well, Netherlands still hasn't uh, burned this country to the ground, so that's always good to see. Are uh, they checked up? Okay, they're not taking up, so AI is decided not to take up. They're also not picking ideas, so I think that's some good AI settings, although we have rehosted now. Not a good idea to do that, but oh well. Their inflation is true, anyway. And are they getting an inflation reduction advisor? No, their idea is getting an inflation reduction, don't they? Yes, they do. And they've got economic. Yep. So they get huge debuffs in inflation. Yeah. Dutch are quite good at that, actually. They can have so many trade company investments because they basically get no inflation. They have no gold income and they get... You get them kind of economic hit from inflation and they have their ideas get an inflation reduction as well. So it's the nice thing with the Dutch. Yeah, well, Malay can afford to stare at them until the end of time, but won't be able to achieve much. They blockaded them, causing Khmer War exhaustion. You know, they themselves, I mean, lengths of war is starting to, starting to hurt. I do want to see how they get out of this zone. But in essence, it's going to have to be like a naval invasion. <laughs> I'll see those bugs. At least I'll say one thing. These borders have been fixed. Thank God. And, ah, oh, rip the uncolonized land here. No one, no one wants Sakhalin. Ottoman starting to clean this up somewhat. They need to basically take a bite of this to clean the rest of this up, but yeah. And Germany taking bits of Poland part of this state. Mm. It looks like Germany definitely taking there a bit of the pie. How is Germany doing? Still West funny ideas, funnily enough. They've gone innovative, interesting. But they do have beautiful missions. Yeah, good luck with this one. Um, their missions are just so very undoable. Like taking 40 provinces from France, yeah, well, best of luck with that. This would also be amazing for them, but they need to invade literally the entirety of the mainland Netherlands. I think they'll just be taking the opportunity to the rest of Austria here. The moment they can. Perfectly understandable, governing capacity looking pretty well done for them. Anything resembling a good manufacturer has been built. Missing a couple of workshops, but yeah. For the most part, Germany's seen great. Um, quite an impressive achievement to do that Cologne in a Mages game, though. So hats off to them. Mutapa, it is 16th century, they still can't see this poor, this poor province here. That's kind of ironic even, but hey ho. Interesting to see what they go for, for their uh, third idea group. Maybe trade, although they don't, don't need the merchants, funnily enough. They may go exploration just for the purpose of uh, finding our land. I'm wondering, why have they split up their stacks in such a weird manner? Well, I guess that's for them to learn from me to find out. Is that because they're killing natives? Yep, they're literally doing that for killing natives. <laughs> One way of doing it, I guess. An absolutely beautiful economy. God. Yeah, one of, they are among the highest in income. And a hundred of that's from trade, but so much of that's from production. Really good production income. 
Oh, and Ottomans paying them money, I guess, sir. Why are the Ottomans paying them money? I don't know why the Ottomans are paying them money, but cannot complain. They certainly cannot. Oh, they're paying Mutapra and Khmer. I don't... How much money is Khmer getting out of this? An absolutely huge amount. Jesus Christ. So they're getting 100 ducats a month out of Delhi as well. And now Delhi is making absolute... That's the thing. India is so rich. Uh, if we look at the trade here, like... If, we, if the Ottomans could steal this 100 ducats, by the time it arrives here, this would be almost 400. Oh, always a pleasure to see. Unfortunately for Malay, I don't think they can make any real progress here. Unless they go for the naval invasion, which I'd love to see them try. But... Yeah. Oh! Peru and France. Oh yeah, France. France doing his annual trip to Peru. I wonder if they're just going to concede that instantly. It's called in the Dutch. That's just cruel. No, that's... The Netherlands calling the French in. No, Peru declared that, but of course the French are involved. They love to see the Peru killing nation emerge. I think that's the writings cannot get more on the wall than this. But hey ho. God, what an income. If he keeps us up, he'll be able to knock Ottomans out of economic hegemon. That's the thing. If someone, if people give Scoozy, I think, like what? 300 ducats a month, which is an insane amount, of course. Um, God, not even. They only need like 500 ducats a month, so basically Delhi's income. They'll be able to knock the Ottomans out of economic cake month. Which is the dumbest uh, mechanic ever, but technically a mechanic. I'd probably consider that an exploit. No? Well, not probably, I would consider that an exploit uh, before someone gets the genius idea to do that. Proper institutions behind as well. Not exactly much in terms of manufacturing is going for them. Well, Peru is quite brave going in here. Especially without their, um, their ally, but... I mean, France is just going to clean up here. Clean up shop. No, they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. Menacingly. I wonder if there's some kind of agreement to stay out of this, actually. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Um... Or actually, this may be a genius ploy by Peru to keep themselves alive against the French. Because if they keep dowing the Dutch, what that actually entails is that France will have a truce with them. I think it's a one-way truce, though, actually, so I think they'll be able to dow anyway. But, yeah. Either way, it's the I now, Netherlands, unfortunately, dipped. It is Valentine's Day, so that's understandable, so... Yeah. Let's see how that works. Poor Malaya taking a lot of water exhaustion out of the occupations here. Not sure why they haven't fixed that, because not like they can't. Yeah, they could very easily just sail over and fix the sieges here. Still don't know why they're not doing that, to be honest, but hey ho. Are they waiting for this to expire? It's actually going to expire this year. Yeah, we need to refresh the burnt uh, the scorched earth this November. And I probably shouldn't be saying on stream because if Kimmer is watching, they can see that. And um, yeah, God, that is a, that is so dumb. It's actually genius that mechanic. 
E4 is a beautiful game, I agree. Hmm. Yeah, they're going in to reburn the land, I think. Yep. But that's not issues. So I don't think they can burn it. Again, can they? No, they have to wait till November to burn it. So actually, they can attack them here, and they can attack with proper reinforcements. Well, until the monsoon's over, unfortunately. And actually, the will not be over by November. Oh, six months. Yeah, to be fair, actually, if Malaya just walks into this fort reinforcing properly, they'll have this. Ooh, the Cold War's actually heating up for once. But they do need this one soon to be over. It's, it's kind of a gamble here. Khmer lives if they can burn the ground again before the monsoon ends. Ooh, that'll be interesting. This will be interesting. When does the monsoon end? It is on a timer, probably. There is something I'm missing here, like the monsoon ends. So. Probably come July. I hope they can start walking into that, and then they can reinforce probably. But if the if the monsoon stays until November, they can reburn the land, and then that's it. You can never move into this province during monsoon. Right. Oh, that looks like very much a fake war. Oh, oh well, actually, the Spanish probably pieced out. Is what I'm guess guessing. So rip the Dutch holdings. Either way. Monsoon has ended. Monsoon has ended. They can go in here. Re with reinforcements. Ooh. Actually, no, of course. They can't gamble because this modifier is still not gone. July, August, and then September, October, November. Hmm. There's the battle. There's the death stack. Fortunately, however, I think the uh, Khmer is also the stacking here. But they'll be able to win the plus one rolls, I think. Yeah. Same, same discipline. A bit more mill tactics from Malaya, but that's not going to be enough. That's not going to be enough, especially with the recopper reinforcement stacks here. No, no chance. They'll be able to reburn the land, and this land will be scorched. That's the end of any Malayan's uh, expeditions, I'm afraid. That's one way to defend your country. But well, they're moving a stack back here to burn it. Yep. Understandable. That is still a beautiful mechanic, just. Ah. Oh. It's done though, it's done. I think we'll need to do some rules around this in the, in the future. But I'm not sure how to regulate against it. Just banning Scorched Earth is... A bit of a blanket ban. Japan at war with whom? It's GB. For what? Oh my god, British Alaska. That is so beautiful, but so... Yep. <laughs> I was going to say no way GB is going to die over Alaska. And that means Japan should be able to, once they call this, form their colonial nation. A mostly English Protestant with Catholic, Portuguese, 
but fundamentally Korean and Shinto colonial nation. So, I mean, that's about as cosmopolitan as you get. But hey, uh, and uh, that'll be quite a bit of Alaskan node. Trade being nicked. Oh well. Colonizing this, but not gra grabbing Sakhalin. Well, did they rebound this? To a 78, yep. The five year window of opportunity is gone. Please wait another five years. And it's minus 50% of war score, they can enforce the white piece. Khmer can enforce the white piece. Not be getting subsidies, so they are losing money. Absurdly right now. So they cannot keep this up. They should be enforcing the white piece in my books. Unless they want to try and punish them for anything. Oh, if they get the official this problems back, they'll, uh, they'll get war score, which they'll be able to use for something. I don't know what that shall be, we shall not know. The session is coming to an end within the 10 minutes. The mechanic of this is the dumbest mechanic, but also the biggest and bravest mechanic. So, we have a mechanic called the Seo Monsoon, which decreases movement speed for your friendly units and your enemy units by 50%. Right? That's fine, that's great. Monsoon, you know, troops move slower, you get your RPs, you know. But good as a mechanic as well because you know units move slowly have to be more careful about reinforcements but you can scorch the earth which means hostile movement speed is decreased by 50 percent what this means is hostile movement speed is decreased by 100 percent aka if we have a scorched earth during a severe monsoon you can never act an enemy can never arrive in this province it takes an infinite amount of days to walk in here which is just brave but just stupid as well because what that in essence means is that a whole bunch of this game is not over stacking and being able to reinforce your troops sufficiently. You cannot reinforce this province. You can only wait until the severe monsoon ends and then you can walk in. But then as soon as the severe monsoon starts again, you can never walk more troops into this province. Which <laughs> is just so beautiful but dumb at the same time. And this is basically what's keeping Khmer alive here because Malaya does have the armies and the capabilities of murdering them. They have a stronger army and a better army, but because they cannot reinforce properly in here, that's it. They can never make progress. So we will in the future have to have some kind of rule adjustment regarding this. I'm not sure what or how we'll do, but for now at least, that is the reality. Does Khmer have a host to have a national idea for this as well? I don't think they do. So I remember looking at Khmer's ideas and seeing they have some... Uh, no, they don't. Khmer does not. I think there is a national idea. But the thing is, it's not like going over 100% does much for you. Like, okay, they arrive from never to never. It's as soon as you hit that 100%, then that's beautiful. But yeah, even if they arrive in, you know, minus 130%, they're still just not going to arrive ever. They can't, you know, move away from the province. That's not how that works, I'm afraid. But yeah. I'm not actually sure if that idea exists. Uh, I will have to double check. Because I don't think it does if I'm being honest, but I will double check. I have a spreadsheet with all ideas, because I do have that, um, for comparison purposes of other countries. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to ban Scorching, and Gibi having to keep track of, oh, am I Scorching a Monsoon province, is just unrealistic. So I have no idea how I could implement any kind of rule regarding that. But we have to implement any some kind of rule regarding that. Because you can't ban forts on moons and provinces. You can't ban scorching on moons and provinces. So. But you can't ban the combination of all three. But you, ha you can't allow all three. So it's almost the cash money too. We also kind of have a situation where we have a promise that's uninvadable. A fix to this somewhat may be where we have to start playing with a mod for this. Which is going to be really bad for new beginners. But that would also allow us to do other cool stuff like rebalance national ideas etc. Where the mod would basically uh, mean tropical provinces, um, the monsoon gives hostile moon speed minus 25%, for example, so it's still reinforceable, just even harder. Not the 100%, that is the issue here. But, well, that is a problem for future Oleg, I'm afraid. Uh, not current lemon cake, and when that is sorted out, that will be sorted out. Uh, what's the economy looking like? Minus 70 plus 70.
Yeah, no, and they are generously over forced them here. So ironically, Khmer, they can't maintain this. Khmer has been forced fed money um, through subsidies from uh, both Ottomans and Delhi. They both have stopped now, but yeah, to keep them going. Still impressed with how much money uh, Mutap is making. They're basically one of the last remaining uh, non-Europeans that uh, have done well. Morocco has actually kind of fixed themselves, to be fair. Have they? Are they still maritime? They're still maritime, and they actually have gone down religious, so I have no idea why they're doing that, but... Not for me to judge. They don't need religious here, like, at all. Why are they doing religious? I don't want to remove monsoons, because it's, it's still kind of a cool thing where you have to bear in mind people's reinforcement speeds, because, again, reinforcing is a big part of the skill scene in this game, and I don't want to remove skill from the game by the same time. Yeah, no. uh, he can enforce the white piece, so you can't enforce the white piece when you're down 50%, what's going on, I'm afraid? But Khmer can now push a white piece against you. Yeah, I would just... To be fair, Buggy Doggy, from the list that you just gave me, that sounds useless entirely. You know. Especially since he doesn't have the stab cost reduction or the tolerance of true faith. He only has the missionary. He hasn't even filled this out, so I don't I don't know why he has this. But... I guess he plans to retake his cause back and then convert them back from Protestantism. But good luck with him with that. I love how Catholicism is almost entirely gone. Basically stuck to the new world and nothing else. But yeah, and Buddhism is basically migrating to mainland China from India. Oh, rainy seasons bring fertility. That's ironic for that's being squashed us in monsoon until the end of time. But yeah, I am thinking of making it more like the 30% movement speed reduction. Just so you kind of... I, just make sure there's no idea for it as well. Make sure you can never hit that 100% movement reduction. Because that is the insane part. The rest... Mm, we can live with. Either way. I It is last five minutes, so I'm going to go around and... See. Sort out that. Right. Hello, uh, last five minutes, so I'm okay. we will end session sooner rather than later, you know. Either end of this year or end of next year. Hello, last five minutes, so end session either end of this year or end of next year. Hello, last five minutes, so end of session either this year or end of next year. One of the two. Right, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say right now I I have <laughs> I did spend a long time making a spreadsheet of every single national idea. Well, not just myself, I didn't have help, actually. So I'm not going to take full credit of that. Because, uh, just for, well, national ideas comparisons, and I didn't see it anywhere. So, I could imagine it's something that exists, but I'm pretty sure I've never seen it. But, yeah. Oh, good to know it. I, uh, thanks for checking for me. Um, I don't have to go check now, myself. But it is 23rd of February, and it's minutes ago so yeah probably end of this year so 1676 the end of session um yep. i agree monsoon's bad yeah might as well speed three i don't think there's um I'm assuming this is not an intensive war by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah, I, I'm assuming no one minds the fact that it's speed three from the war participants. Yeah. yeah.
God. Oh. The thing is, that sounds familiar. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have to look at that to make sure I don't allow that to be minus 100%. Because this is so powerful at minus 100%. Because you can just force your. You can. You have complete control over how your enemy fights you. With that, so. I will have to look around with that. But yeah. God, more homework for me, isn't it? Not gonna lie, I think looking for teammates when, like, in public is a bit brave, but yeah. Pretty sure if you want to intervene, Sandeli's gonna have a word about it. But yeah. Mm. Thing is, uh, that's the issue with 100%. If it's if it's 80 or even 90%, that's horrible. But you can work around it. Does all of us have double the weapon of next great power? No, they have nowhere near because France and Delhi are good players. That's it. They have double France, Russia's development, but no, France and Delhi are good players. It's the advantage short of it, I'm afraid. And so is Yuan and Germany. And well, Malayan. I like how I ex excluded Peru here. No, Peru is, uh, Peru is actually quite a good player as well. Um, not Ottoman, Lysseris, or France tier, by any stretch of the nation, of course, but uh, they can hold their own. Yeah, nowhere near for Ottomans in terms of double their development, I'm afraid. But yeah, November and last two minutes of the session, so we'll have end of session sooner rather than there. Of course, his armies get locked in when there's a... Halfway there, that is... Oh, part of the fun. Got it on the first, let's go. I think that's my first one on the first. One more. Uh, it's one more minute, we, we are done here, I'm afraid. We don't have one more year, I finally got it. I finally got it. On the first. I finally got on the first, I'm not doing another year. I finally okay. paused on the first. Collapse. <laughs> I, I finally shot. paused on the first. So you know what? Yeah. We're, we're going with that, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's about time either oh. way. So... Yeah. This was a weird war. I mean, uh, y the only thing, like... Uh, at least Lemon Cake have been having a player war to comment on his stream. Yeah, I was uh, really enjoyed watching that. <laughs> the, uh, the only thing that Paradox could do is to change the, uh, the like the lowest, yeah, the, the, to add the lowest cap you can go because they've got the cap that you cannot go over hundred. Mm. Because done, you, you, right? you cannot, yeah, you cannot yeah, move like two hundred uh, percent. Uh, yeah, I think this might be very organized and probably will make this less loop friendly, but. Make a mod for this session where we start fixing BS stuff like this. Like, well, you can just you can a just... lot. A lot of mods started like that, though. <laughs> exactly. What are these mods doing to the, the interesting about? thing is that the first anyway, I'll be back in a moment. He did on himself. I'll be back in a bit. So yeah, I need to sort out the rest of the stream. Let's throw it. You right? Uh, so I have to sort out the rest of the stream. Okay. Yep. Yeah.